Greetings, members, one and all of the Salivation Nation. We are live. It is a Friday. I got the coffee here. I got the microphone here, camera here. I've got the computer here. I've got an internet connection. I've got a very soft and cuddly kitty that I just gave some medicine to. And what is missing here? What's left that I need? Oh, you, the people. Yeah, that's it. That's what it's about. Good to see you. We got good folks here. We got Alpha Boss here. Terry, Terry Rabidou is here. Eli is here. Proof is in the sip. He was first here. Indeed. Good to see you guys. Centurion Silver is here. What's up, Trooper? Hello, Trooper. He uh, addresses us individually in his uh, in his uh, when he does a video. In singular, it's Trooper. We are the Trooper when we listen to his channel. Indeed. Centurion Silver, you guys should definitely check him out. He's awesome. And I Am Gogi is here. Yes, indeed. He is subscribed to the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement is sweeping floors. That's I Am Gogi. And Corn is here. Pre-33 Collector. Dun Claire is here. HD Shovel Ed is here. And Michael Sorrel is here. Some good folks popping in here. Good to see you, Michael Sorrel. And Point Nine Nine Zombie. Hello, everyone. All right, very good. He's part of the sweeping floor revolution. I am Gogi. 65 seconds late, Tricky Guy is. That's somewhat of an excuse. I mean, it's not no excuse, but it's somewhat of one, Tricky Guy. That's right. So that means you, we give you a partial pass for being 65 seconds late. And Chuck and Plata is watching us from sunny, sunny Dominican Republic. Mm hmm. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, Chuck and Plata. Thanks for checking in, brother. And speaking of brother, we got brother Sal and Jackie Bears here. We're just we're just um, talking to you folks coming in here first. We got a new sub, Joe Lazaro here. Nice, thank you. Hello, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. Very good. So we're gonna do our little live comment review. I've been trying to keep up with the comments, so uh, we. Uh, We'll see here. We might even call a scammer later. We'll we'll see what happens. Yes, indeed. All right. Very good. Mr. Working Class AG is here. Keystone Stacker is here. All right. Good to see you guys. Okay. Uh, what are you going to talk? We're going to talk about uh, some of these comments, some of the videos here, and then we we'll probably will go through um, the uh, maybe call a scammer. And the boat just kind of where things take us here. Uh, let's see here. Mostly. Uh, let's see here. Let's talk about maybe the dollar reset. I just posted a video on the, on the dollar reset. Uh, Ravenhawk Coins is here. All right, Ravenhawk. Good to see you. All right. Here in the live stream, we've got Silver Badger, Ravenhawk, Silver Wolverine. Yes, you rock too. Yeah, check out Raven does some good songs. Uh, no mics, no filters, just a cell phone and a song. Indeed. Very good. And Terry Rabideau gives us silver. Show us kitty. Yeah, the kitty. I had to give the. We had to give the kitty some medicine here earlier. Uh, the little soft, teak and cuddly kitty. The fat one's got a UTI. You know what I'm saying? Which stands for Universal Transverse Institute. That's right. Exactly. All right. Very good. And uh, let's see here. Okay. So moving ahead, we're gonna do a little comment review, guys. So let's get this screen shared and we'll have a little fun. We might call a scammer here after a bit. Pause before they close down. I got a couple of other numbers. Some of these loan scammers. I, I'm give, getting these calls that have been hanging up on me. I love to have fun with these uh, with the Indians that call me. And I checked this out before I continue on. I had a scammer contact me on another social media platform that I have an account on. And I'm trying to help him get a job. A real job. He was from Nigeria. And I said, dude, hey, why don't you try to earn money the honest way? Just go and, um, you know, and walk around your your town there just north of Lagos, Nigeria. I, I tried to help him out. I tried to give him some places he could go. And so he's going to check in with me. And uh, I even told him, to, hey, check in with some churches there in the area and see if they can help you out. And he's going to check back with me and maybe... We may have reformed a scammer. You never know. Yes, indeed. Okay. Moving ahead here, uh, Mark uh, Nordgaard says, stock market will go to the moon and gold and silver will crash down to $1,010, uh, says Mark uh, Nordgaard. Wow. 
What a prediction. I love when people predict uh, where gold and silver prices are going to go. Um, because it just, it, it's neat to see there's a vast difference between uh, what, what some people think, some of the reasons behind it. I just find it fascinating. Indeed. All right. Moving ahead. Uh, Christian Cole TV says, very good, excellent video. Likey. I subscribe me. Visit my channel and subscribe. Greetings. Uh, that's a negatory ghost writer. A negative ghost writer. And don't do sub for subs. You're only here because you want to get stuff for your channel. None of my subscribers are going to subscribe to your channel. That's just rude. Anyways, Vicky Carroll says, I think it's gorgeous. Very. That's cool. She is referring to my silver unboxing of these uh, $10 copies. And by the way, I have a, uh, I might be doing a video on that, on the denomination, but boy, those are nice them done by the Intaglio Mint for sure. Uh, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay. John RMS says, I would love to melt that down. Uh, anything with, with his name on it needs to be burnt. Uh, yes, with this is the uh, circus bar here. All right. I'm not sure what his name, because it's got the circus name on it. Uh, free Markets. He's Lord Humongous saying free markets. Yeah, well, yeah, we don't have, we don't really have totally free markets here. That's for sure. And it's a shame because we should have free markets. And Klonic Stacker says, I would go to a rhodium summit. Now, I, that would be quite something else if they had such a thing. Chris Jones is here. All right. Hey, thank you very much, Chris Jones. He says, thanks for all you do, brother, informative and entertaining. And by the way, guys, we got a, a, a full fledge of folks coming in here. If I miss your, if you address something to me, uh, just to say um, salivate metal with no spaces and it'll turn orange and I'll be able to see it. Um, so uh, yes, indeed, appreciate you guys, but I appreciate you guys. As I'm in here, I may miss some of the stuff, some of the stuff you guys say, and we'll be on the lookout for trolls. I, um, I was remiss last time we had one come through at most inopportune time. And so we'll keep an eye out of my, but my, my moderator who's usually here, uh, wasn't here last time. And, uh, usually she catches it, but anyways, Barbara Carbone's here. Hey, here we go. Thank God it's Friday. Here we go. Mmm. How yummy, yummy, yummy. Yes. A diaper for corn. You can't stop peeing since you started this 500 calorie diet. I need a portable urinal and a catheter. Wow. Isn't he, aren't you supposed to have like 2000 calories a day? Uh, Chris Badecki says, uh, says, Chris B143 says, hello. Well, hello, Chris. Hello to you. All right. Okay. Uh, Toy, Toy FJ40 uh, says, nice item. I got online and got a Merc Dime plus a few other for Christmas gifts. Good prices too. I mentioned you, so I hope you get your finder's discount on your, on your next order. Well, I don't think I'll get a discount, but hey, thank you. I appreciate you mentioning uh, mentioning me as you got your purchase and I hope you enjoyed it. I, they do great work. You won't be disappointed. I mean, they're, I just love the sharpness of the detail and they're a pretty small company. Raven Hawk says you're cracking me up. Salivation nation for life. Hey, thanks my friend. Yes, indeed. Got to have a little fun here on a Friday afternoon. Uh, yes, yes, sir. All right. Edward, uh, Costa says silver's on sale is the way you should look at it. This is on how low does silver have to go before you give up on it. Also, silver is more of an insurance against dollar going nuts. Exactly right. That's for sure, against the dollar going nuts. But what's the insurance against me going nuts? That's the question, Edward. You know? There's no insurance if I go nuts. Hello, Cheryl Lee. Good to see you. AC is here. Good to see you. Silver Stanger is here. And Slacker Stacker is here. All right. And Yankee Stacking is here. All right. Good to see you, guy. All right. Here's Mischievous Mallard. No, you're not late. Just be good this time. And that's all I ask. Um, yes, indeed. All right. This, that was the guy that, that trolled out last time. Let's see here. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right. Ivan 24-7 Guitar says, excellent choice, my friend. Beautiful silver. Nice and thick. Yes, indeed. I love me some thick silver. And actually, they've got a two-ounce gold uh, Perth Mint High Relief coins out there. I'd love to have one of those, but that's a little outside of my, that's a little outside of my um, pay grade. 
Chummaker1 says, hey, Sal, are you a coin collector or a prepper stacker? You're interested in these aesthetics of the pieces. Leads me to believe that you are a collector. I'm a prepper stacker. I expect the SHTF and my goal to stack and preserve my net worth and have silver that is tradable. Coin collections, in my estimation, is difficult to trade with the average Joe. He might be selling staple food items. The coin that is in your hand in this video, for instance, uh, would you trade that for $30 worth of food or would you be looking to get a premium on it because of how it's engraved? Well, excellent question, Chumpmaker. And you must be a new subscriber because you just missed a series that I did on silver in an SHTF scenario. Um, where I talk about that, but you are right. And I'm going to say it. I'm, I'm coming out of my closet right now, people. Um, and hold on a second. I'm going to actually come out of the closet. I, if I'm going to say it, I'm going to actually do it. Hold on just a second here. Listen very closely for me uh, coming out of my of the closet. Just a second here. All right, there it is. This particular... Uh, room that i am that i'm in actually has a closet and i had it installed specifically for this very moment right now all right i'm gonna admit it guys i am a collector i am a coin collector i am a coin collector now does that mean i don't stack no i do stack but i stack things i like for instance those geiger bars there's a little bit of a premium to them i stack them because i like them um, and, uh, some people stack silver just because it's just weight, you know, and they don't really care what it is or they get, uh, the most liquid type of silver it, there is, but yeah, say it ain't so Sal. That's right, Terry. And I don't think that you got, that's much of a surprise any of you here. What I, what I get. So to make it an answer, the meat of your question is I don't expect to get anything but spot for this for this round there was a premium i paid for but that's just because i like it um but if i was to sell it you know i'm not going to get in fact i'll probably get under spot for it if i needed to, if i needed to sell it in a bond i'm going to get something very very much under spot probably depending on where i go my lcs will give me under spot for silver and uh that's just the way it is <clears throat> but that's okay because it's always protected by the uh, by the um, intrinsic value. Pumpkin face is here and reminds us that it's 26 days until Halloween. That's when he will do a face reveal for us. There we go. All right. Lots of slurps. No nuts, Sal. Yeah, there we go, Silver Stanger. Appreciate it. It's going to be Christmas soon after that. Guess what? It's going to be hot. It's going to be Valentine's Day next. Uh, 14th the 14th of february next year yes indeed i'll have a date that day um by the way just so you know i'm gonna have a date the date after that because every day is a date there's a date every single day of the calendar year yes raven hawk agrees with me that the geiger bars are nice yes indeed very cool all right hello juan ortiz good to see ya I got robbed uh, locally trying to sell silver. Oh boy, yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they're gonna give you well under spot for it. That's for sure. Aiden Skate says every payday I keep buying silver. I've noticed there are very few uh, sales kicking online. I lived through 2008. I have a bad feeling that's coming around again. Yeah, it very well could. This is why we prepare Aiden Skate by accumulating gold and silver uh, to protect ourselves. E. Macia says, yeah, all right. On um, gold demand, um, gold demand kind of pushing it up. People are getting wise. The precious metals, you realize I've got to get a little bit of gold, get a little bit of silver. Uh, Dude Cat says, I love these dips. I just purchased one kilo of silver bar and two and, and a half ounce of gold. Thanks for sharing, Sal. Well, thank you. Yes, indeed. Yeah, I made a purchase too. Pretty big purchase for me, but anyways. All right, like button has been smashed. Okay, all right, Nate, have a dinner with the fam. All right, Raven Hawk, appreciate. Thanks for stopping by, my friend. Appreciate you popping in here. All right, very good. Okay, let's see. Okay, where are we at here? Okay, Max Strong says first comment and second like. I love gold. Thank you. Appreciate it, Max. Yeah, I love gold too. Chuck and Plata says, first greetings from Puerto Plata, still watching, waiting, and hoping, anticipating higher prices. Yes, indeed. Thank you, Chuck. 
All right. I'm glad he's able to watch from um, from um, Puerto Plata. Last year he wasn't. He had trouble. Tomoko's Enterprise, who knows? I just sit back and wonder if this whole PM thing still buying silver, though. There you go. Okay. Good job, Dean. Dusty Road says, that's my sense, too. I'm waiting to see if gold can find support and hold above 50 uh, day MA, hmm. a moving average. So far, gold has hit and pulled back several times, given the impression of weakness. However, I like the curved look of the price movement as price goes into a time phase where some say a range bound the price movement has a potential to make a cup and handle two, which would be great if confirmed. And right, I see lots of potential. Yeah, getting to the technical analysis there. Yeah, it's it's showing some strength around twelve hundred dollars right now, and uh, so it's. I think that's that's uh, something to consider. You know that, that we might have possibly have seen the low or the bottom. Although there's some people that are saying, yeah, it's going to go down even lower. All right. Now, let's see here. Uh, where are we at? Okay. Gold is terrible, says pre-33 collector. I believe it. He's always bashing gold. That corn is. I tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Hello, Talking Bullion. Chiefly Chieftain says, I'm getting tired of chasing these prices up and down. I may get off uh, from buying any more PMs for a while, although I do have some eBay bucks to spend, so I'm tempted. Well, you know, and that's just it. You know, it's hard to really, I have fun, you know, making videos about these things, but I don't take them too seriously. Um, and um, and you just, you just um, I'm of the mind that I buy no matter what the price is. If they go up, uh, if they go up, then, um, then I'm going to just buy a little less if they go down. Like, for instance, I'll give you a for instance. I just bought, um, and it's coming in the mail sometime, a one-ounce gold coin. Now, if the price was to go up 40 50 60 bucks, and the premiums go up there too, well, then um, uh, I may not be able to afford to get a whole ounce. Maybe I'll get a half ounce or a, and then a quarter-ounce coin. Um, that's kind of how I look at it. Um because I understand that even though the prices are up or climbing up or whatever, I'm going to grab what I can with within my budget. And uh, so there it is. Yeah, gold is too pretty. I don't like it. Yeah, there you go. Corn, it's too pretty. That's it. We can't have it because it's too pretty. That's right. That's like me with women. I can't, I can't, you know what I'm saying? They're too pretty. They're too pretty. That's it. Exactly. So why? And actually, corn, you know what? If you want to pick an ugly metal, you know, um, the ugliest, some of the ugliest, or some people say that palladium is kind of ugly. And, um, and, and even platinum to a point. Now, when they make them in proof coins or they put special finishes on them, they kind of make them nice. Uh, let's see here. Okay, Yankee Stacking, can you maybe answer my question to you? Yes. Yes, and by the way, uh, Yankee, yeah, if you want to get my attention, type out salivate metal, but no space in between, and it'll turn uh, orange, and I'll see it easier. But what did you, questions you asked that I missed? Let's see here. Uh, what question? Okay, you have to, let's see. So we'll wait for Yankee's question, and we'll go ahead and go up here. All right, Dusty Road says, debt is $21 trillion dollars. Budget deficit, $956 billion. Debt to GDP ratio, 105.08. Yeah, it's inexcusable. This debt is crazy. And both parties are to blame for it, Dusty. You're exactly right. Um, okay, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I like aluminum, the kind with the beer inside. There you go, Centurion Silver. Me too. With buff. Pure silver is pretty. 925 silver is poor. I love pure and 22 karat gold. Meatloaf by the pound is a great buy indeed. Let's see. I played it's not that appealing unless really done proof. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Yankee Stacky, I'm looking for your question. You want to want to ask it again? Let's see here. Um, so, Trillion Silver says I've recently switched back to into collection mode as opposed to stacking mode, aside from ASEs on sale. There could be one or more low in silver dipping back into 13s, possibly 12s. Need to be ready. As far as gold, maybe another one ounce before year's end, but I need to see more steady movement upward. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. And I think we'll see it. Okay. 
All right, shortage of 2018 ASEs from the Mint, and the big guys are practically falling over themselves cutting their premiums. What's going on? Oh, wow. I did post a video talking about the shortage. Uh, um, and um, But I think that's, that's over now, unless there's a new shortage. Uh, but let's see here. But I don't know if, if the get found themselves cutting their premiums, and and that, that could possibly be that that could be a sign that prices may be going down. Uh, possibly, maybe, you know, maybe there's something going on with the paper markets. Maybe I don't know. All right, AC says I don't troll or attack people. Well, I don't think I accused you of trolling, did I? Let's see here. But that's good that you don't. That's good. I'm glad. All right, let's see here. All right, let's see here. Moving ahead. Okay, Bob Smith says, I think gold and silver will pop up uh, back to resistance around $12.50 or, and $16 uh, dollars, and then head back to, down towards new lows. But I think they'll stay above the onward trend line from 2011 and hopefully make it come back to late uh, 2019. Otherwise, we can be grinding lower for two to five years, but I hope we'll see prices at least double within the time frame. One thing to be encouraged about people, we have new floors now. Uh, we have uh, new floors. In other words, and I've showed this in a video, how gold and silver prices, they go up and then they smash back down. But when they smash back down too, it's never to the bottom of the previous time. And uh, so even though these, especially in 2011, we've not seen them go back down to eight, nine dollars an ounce, which, which is what we saw before. They really spiked up in that time which is encouraging. But in the end, if you think about it, you know, gold and silver with adjusted for inflation, they both have maintained their uh, uh, competitiveness with the dollar. Uh, okay, let's see here. Hey, Sal, did you hear Phil DeMille and Dave McCain are leaving Michigan on November 24th? Wow, I did not know that. Didn't they just come out no, that when did their when was their last album that they come out with? Um, that's a couple years ago, wasn't it? Um, Diamonds and uh, Diamonds and something, which I wasn't as big a fan of as the album with Locust on it. But uh, yeah, here's a fun fact for you guys. Everybody's gonna love this little fun fact. Machine Head used to be the um, um, Rob Flynn from Machine Head um, was the mastermind behind the band Violence back in the late '80s. Yes, indeed. Catharsis Tooth. Oh, okay. Oh, that was her. Okay. Wow, boy, I'm behind on Machine Head. Yeah, Diamonds and Kings. Yeah, yeah, Diamonds and um, and uh, nothing beats. Um, oh my gosh. What was the album that came out with a 94? Crap. Oh, my goodness. Their best album back in 94. Crap, why can't I think of it? Mind block right now, but great album. Had Davidian on it, the song Davidian. Hi, Cyber Curtain Twitcher is here. Hey, Cyber Curtain Twitcher. You demand. The Ashes of the Wake. Yeah, no, I, I, it was came out. Let me see here. When, well, I'll look it up later. Anyways, Cosmic uh, Karma Koala says, let's see what the scammer has to say. Well, the scammer never called. He hung up. Hello, Stephen Heath is here. Stephen Heath, good evening to you. And notice Stephen Heath typed the name out. Didn't have to use all caps, but kept it spelled it correctly. And no spaces, and it turned orange, and it caught me. Yes, the memories are first to go, Terry. That's what they say. And I saw Ozzy bite the head off a bat. Yes, actually, he didn't. He bit the head off a rubber bat. He bit the head off of an actual dove. Yes, indeed. Uh, Chris Jones is a reverse 2018 Kenny with light obverse. Really, that rare? I see many for sale. It may not be. Now, I've. I did a video on that, Chris, and uh, I questioned if I had one of those because mine is lighter, but it's not completely, you know, brushed or, or completely matte like the other ones are. So I think there's different varying levels of it. Hello, Tip Up Silver. Good to see you. 
Here's Yankee stacking. Yeah, I saw it. I answered it talking bullion, but thank you. I didn't see that. All right. Keith High says gold and silver has not seen its bottom yet. Keith has been rock steady in his in his um 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 prediction that it's gonna go down for sure. Thank you, Keith, for that. That's cool. Burn my eyes. That's it. Thank you, Tex Man. Burn my eyes. Great album. Everybody, everybody in this chat room should get that album. Dude, it is the bomb diggity and then some. That and Sepultura Arise. I mean, no matter your age, you can always appreciate Sepultura Arise. Totally incredible. Mm -hmm. All right. Stephen Lynn says it would be impossible to get your physical silver back from paper. Fake silver, it will be a war for sure. That's when the World War III will begin. Well, something tells me that most of these paper silver buyers, they don't care about the physical. You know what I mean? And that is, by the way, there is a way to get to, that's where silver and gold can be an investment if you work with it the right way, especially trading the ratio as um, as uh, Carl Ushanka talked about. Um, over here, it says, never heard of rhodium into urban lifestyle, had a video on rhodium. Yeah, cool. Well, over here, um, if you get a chance, man, check out uh, the video I did on rhodium, I, I, I got a, a bar of it some time ago for a thousand dollars. I was inspired to get one from, um, oh my gosh, I may am having a brain freeze today. Um, oh my goodness, a YouTuber here who very rarely post, but anyways, I forget her name right now. So drawing a blank for some, she would, she would kill me if she knew I forgot it. Just a completely mind blank. It's been a kind of a long day, but anyways, uh, the, uh, the, um, but got it for a thousand dollars. This stuff has gone up like crazy here. Now I'm really worried about Terry's comment because the mind's the first thing to go. And now I feel like, man, this is crazy. Uh, yes, indeed. All right. Okay. All right. Tiumkin says, I've said it before, the rise of gold and silver prices are dead cap balances. Be patient. Lower prices are ahead. Buy a little at a time. Don't be fooled by these rising prices that what the pumpers want you to do. And pay your higher prices when prices are ahead. Excellent report. Well, thanks, Tiumkin. And yeah. And, um, you know, I'm, you know, the selfish part of me would like him to go down lower. You know, for sure, because I want to get one. Hey, the stacking nerd is here. Hello, stacking nerd. Good to see you. Yes, indeed. And by the way, the stacking nerd is is living proof that uh, if you, um, when these prices go down, move any any which way but loose. Check her channel out uh, because she's posting videos with some deals where you can get some great deals on both gold and silver products. And a wide variety from a variety of different sources. She really does take a lot of time and effort to uh, put this stuff together. So, you know, I, in fact, I mean, it's, it's, if the one item I wanted was because I'm a collector or else I would have been going to her channel to check out what the deals were for just, you know, to get an excellent deal with spot prices and stuff like that. So definitely check her out when you guys get a chance. Subscribe to her channel. All right. Hello, Jason. Good to see you. Bob Silver, good to see you, sir. All right. Moving ahead. Alpha Ball says, I talked to a Chase Bank investment advisor about PM ETFs. The only advantage he could come up with in comparing it to owning physical asset was liquidity. Good point. No assurance in the case of an SHDF. That's for, <clears throat> that's for sure. No assurance of where the physical PMs are stored and supposedly black back up the investment. Really nothing guaranteed at all about an ETF was alluded to. I was really reluctantly considering diversifying my PMs by with paper assets, but with the advisor not being able to give basic details um, of how these would be guaranteed, I had my own original reticence. I opted to get into the ETF world for PMs. I just feel a lot better about keeping my stores in my possession. My couple of cents on the subject. Well said, Alpha Boss, and good research because you kept an open mind and you uh, and you um, weigh the uh, the benefits to to whatever. But my feeling is gold and silver. You know what other way is there really to get them but in the physical? You know what I mean? It's um I don't know. It, it, I mean I understand why people buy the ETFs, but 
you know, it's a balance against their other portfolio, but heck, might as well just get them and then enjoy them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Low blood pressure. Get out of the paper until it's all coming down soon, my opinion, of course. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, you know, and we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Oh, you're welcome, Stacking Nerd. Great. Right. You got a great channel. All right. Uh, yes, indeed. And yeah, there you go. All right. And Stacking Nerd says it well. She says, other girls I know have a bad day and they go buy a purse and I buy a coin. There you go. <laughs> Stacking Nerd. That's right. I, there was a YouTube channel here uh, of, a, of a lady who did both. She bought purses and coins. I kid you not. She bought, she loved designer handbags. Oh, 77, new high. We got 79, which is the atomic number of gold. Uh, Mikey Fruzio Vlogs. Hello, what's up? Good to see you, sir. All right. Welcome. Good to see you indeed. All right, moving ahead here. What do you say, guys? Should we pause and try to call a scammer before it gets too late? All right, let me see. Let's get a let's get a poll from the room. Type the number one if you want me to pause and call a scammer. Type the number two if you want me to continue with the comments. We'll uh, we'll take a poll here. Number one to call. Number two to not call and continue with comments. Hi, Salve. Still rocking, Sal. T just received my monthly random year, 10th ounce gold eagle. Tube is half full, getting heavier. Very cool, Calvin. That's awesome. Okay, one's Donald in New Mexico. Hey, Donald with a number three for us. Donald, number three. All right. All right, so we got one. We got a couple of twos. Got a couple of twos, but uh, type three if it's your bedtime. Yeah, maybe it's Donald New Mexi Mexico's bedtime. All right, I think we've got more ones than twos, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, it's Eric here. Hello, Eric. Mm. Shall show your face. Oh, boy, I don't want to scare you away. Terry, man, I don't want to scare you away. All right, I think I think the uh, the ones have got it. We, we, we won't be too long tonight on the... We'll, you know, I, I, the reason why I kind of want to pause right now is because we have a likelier chance before everything closes down. Um, so let me get to Electric Avenue. We're going to rock on down to Electric Avenue here, folks. I do have a couple of other um, numbers that have come in here. So we're going to see if we can get make our voices heard um, here. Larry Combs, you love your show. Watch while I'm working, collect different data to bullion, but also stack when the cheap. Awesome. Thank you, Larry. I appreciate you listening and uh, watching for sure. Makes my day indeed. Okay, let's see here. Where are we at? Okay, we're going to make this happen. Dialing for dollars, people. We're dialing for we're smiling and dialing, really. That's really what it's bottom was what it boils down to. And uh you know, we bring it to a boil here when we, let's see, okay, we're Peter LaBarbera. Okay, let's get Peter LaBarbera back on the phone. He did call me again, and I told him, he monitored, okay, this is Peter's mobile, and he monitors it 24-7. That means we can call him at any time. So, Peter, we're going to hold you to word. Let's see if you do it, Peter, from 8675309. Come on, Peter, let's see if he'll do it. Hello, Southside Stacker. Okay, Peter. Let's see if you're going to answer, Peter. And we're going to leave a message for Peter because this is going to be, hes you know what I'm saying? Come on. He monitors it 24-7. We're going to, Peter LaBarbera, Barbera. That's his name, Barbara. It's Peter LaBarbera from Shore Funding Solutions. Why is he not answering? I might Hi, you. Rich Peter LaBarbera at 631-559-0395. Please leave a message after the tone. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, Peter. Hey, um, uh, I'm looking at your email right now, and it says that I monitor this 24-7, but you're not here. So I'm going to sing you a little song as I, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find this troll here and I'm going to, uh, let's see here. 
Now he'll no longer be able to, somebody was impersonating me and they're not going to be posting on this anymore. I caught him in time and did. So here, we're going to sing a little song. All right, here we go, Peter. And I need you to answer the phone next time because I do need to ask you about some funding solutions, but I'm in a great mood. So I'm going to sing you a little song. We going riding on the freeway of love in a pink Cadillac. We going riding on the freeway without drugs and a Big Mac. Okay, Peter, you can take that to the bank. All right, we'll see you. Let's try his office line. And maybe Peter will answer that. Come on, Peter. Hey, Pumpkinhead. Are you still here, Pumpkinhead? I wonder if he is a uh, pumpkin eater. Peter, a pumpkin eater. Let's try his direct line. Peter, all right, we'll sing the same song. Are you sure, Mallard? I think it was you, Mallard. Come on, buddy. Got to be cool. What's my coffee? I've got the Truvia. Barbara, I'm being good. It's Truvia's in there. No sugar. Okay. System, you have reached the mailbox of 7054. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, press pound or simply hang up. Peter, uh, yeah, this is uh, Sal again. I, you know, I called your personal cell because you said I could call. It says on the email, I monitor this 24-7. I'm really interested in doing some business with you. And I left you a little song on there. I'm going to leave you a different song on this time. But I'm trying to think of what song I should sing. I'm going to get and I'm going to get it from the a suggestion from the people here. Let's see here. Um, oh, what song should I sing to? It's got to be one that I know. What song, song should I sing for Peter here, people? Tell me. Quickly, his time is running short. Song to sing to Peter. Safety, you can dance if you want to, but you don't have to. It's okay, because if you can't dance and if you won't dance, then you can't sleep in the hay. Hey, you can dance if you want to. You can bring your children behind. You can run and you can rump and you can jump and you can hump and you can run and without the watermelon rhymes. Hey, all right, there we go. That's all I know. That's all the lyrics I know of that song, Peter. All right, have your machine call my machine. Let's do the lunch thing later. And Peter, call me. There we go. Satisfaction. Yeah. Hey, there we go. I should have done this. Yeah. Oh, hard liquor. Yeah. I'm wired tonight. This is that hard. This is that coffee. I think it's an extra strong tonight, Barbara. I'm kind of wired. <laughs> Anything death metal. There you go, slacker stacker. Mm. All right. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, I didn't quit my daytime job. Let's put it to you that way, Danny. Oh, Terry's ears are bleeding. I mean, you know what? If you saw what it looked like, your your um your eyes would pop out of your head. You'd have to have duct tape to keep them in there. All right, let's see here. Okay, let's try somebody else. No luck with Peter. We do have another. Uh, okay, hello Jim. I'm sorry. I thought the call center said Tim, so please forgive me on the faux pas. Ooh, okay, here we go. Seth. Okay, here's Seth. Okay, let's try Seth. And he told me this was his phone number. So let's get Seth a call. Come on, Seth. Outside, Seth, whatever, whatever coffee you're snorting. Yeah, exactly. That's what she said. Kiss. Come on, Seth. Come on, Seth. Do it. Answer the phone. Do it. Okay, come on. I don't like this when they don't answer. Okay. You've reached the voicemail box of Seth Warfield with Biz Funding Finder. I apologize that I missed your phone call. Please note your phone call is extremely important to me. Please leave me your name. If it was extremely important to you, you'd answer the freaking phone, you freak. All right, let's see. I didn't leave that message, by the way. Let's see here. Okay. All right. Okay. Smore following up, dear Tim. Uh, let's see here. He didn't. 
leave a cell number. I told him specifically to leave the cell number. That's the problem. Uh, let's see here. Peter kept, you know what? I'm almost thinking we got to call. Oh, here's Nicole. Okay, here's Nicole Sepulveda. Okay, here's Nicola Sepulveda. All right. All right, here we go. All right. Let's try. I think she's in California because Sepulveda is a boulevard in Cali. Going back to Cali. Cali, let's do a little bit of, um, oh, man, we we need to go back to Cali to get a little bit of um, what's his face going on there. Oh, shoot. LL Cool J. No, LL Cool J in the house. Going back. Oh, Doctor Who, great news. I didn't know you were going in for a biopsy, but that's great news. Hello, you've reached Nicole Sepulveda, ISO Relations Manager for ISO Central. I'm sorry that I've missed your call, so please leave me a message. You don't name care and about for your call, and I will get back to you at my earliest convenience. Thank you, and have a great day. Nicole, you really do care about my call? I was hoping that I would want to do some business with you. And I'm hoping your earliest convenience will be like right now because I'd like to, um, yeah, it'd be nice to talk to you about some funding and, uh, you know, and maybe Windows 3.11 for work groups. But we need to upgrade our computer systems. We're on Windows and DOS 6.22. And um, if I can't get some funding, I'm going to go the Ubuntu route. So just hit me up. You know what I'm saying? You got the number on the caller ID. Just give me a buzz back. Actually, don't give me a buzz back. I've already had too much coffee. Just give me a call. Thanks. See ya. Funk Tad. Is Funk Tad here? Funk Tad for Sally. Eric is here. Our resident bouncer here. We may have to give Funk Tad. Uh, yeah, where's for Sally? Yeah, for Sally or Funk Tad or both. Yes, great news, Doctor Who. That's scary, but I'm glad it came up. I'm glad it came back okay. All right. And Stephen Heath's still here. Stephen Heath, Mark B's still here after all this time. Thank you for hanging with me, guys. All right. Here's Lupe. We could call Lupe back. She was nice. Boy, we got a lot of these emails. Oh, I got the email about Bohemoth, too. Uh, maybe we won't call. Let's see here. Okay. All right, here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. We'll call Zip Capital Group. Maybe we won't get Lupe because she was too nice last time. We want to get somebody who's a little we can have some fun with. Donald in New Mexico is here in New Mexico. Donald in New Mexico. Thank you for calling. All calls will be recorded for training and quality purposes. That's what she said. Please hold while I try to connect you. That's what she said. Oh, I love this song. Dude, this song. Yo. Yo, what's up, man? Hey, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is uh, my Linux and Price Department here at Zip Calendar Group. Who do I pleasure speaking with? Um, yes, my name is Sal, but you can call me Salavate for short, and I'm looking to do business with you uh, okay. uh, with some uh, money, loans, and that and the like. Okay, so are you like an ISO, ISO relations, or what, what are you looking to like, accomplish for yourself? I saw, what is it, ISO relations? Yes, yes. What, what, what are you looking to accomplish? you have some deals that you like to present us, or what, what are you trying to do? Yeah, I've got a business opportunity and that, that needs some funding, and I'm hoping I can partner with you on it. And uh, it's Okay, what's, what's your opportunity? Uh, the opportunity is to um, acquire um, um, the Palladium, corner of the Palladium uh, blank market from Stillwater Palladium. And to and to oh. and to make uh, little kitty rounds out of the palladium supply to compete with the U.S. Mint. Okay. Yeah. How much is that going to cost? Um, it's probably going to be upwards of around a couple hundred thousand dollars. Okay. And, and what what do you, what is your company gross like on a monthly basis? Like, what kind of deposits are you making on September, August, and July? Um, we're grossing probably about um um. Eighty to hundred thousand dollars a month. Okay, and what's your business phone number? Uh, my it's uh my business phone number. Do you do you, do you, do you see the caller ID there? Is my number there in the caller? I do, I do, but um, can you read it back to however, me? It doesn't show. It doesn't show. It doesn't show up on my line. It just shows a bar number. Can you provide the uh your business number? Uh, yes, it's one two zero two. One two zero two eight six seven. 
5309. Okay. Yeah, and can you can you talk a little quieter, please? You're a little bit too loud on the So I didn't catch I, I didn't catch your name at the beginning of the phone call. It's Sal, but you can call me Salavate for short. It's uh it's actually in um, Vietnamese. Okay. So um what's what's the legal business name of your company? It's Salivate Enterprises. Okay. And how long have you been in business? Uh, for 14 years, sir. Okay. And by so the way, I just to be a point of clarification, I said kitty rounds, not clitty rounds, okay? Just so yeah, you know. Yeah, not, kitties. Like it's a kitties. Yeah. It says kitties, right? K-A-T-I-E-S. Yeah, K-I-T-T-Y-E-S and not clitty as in clitoris. Let's not bring our minds to the gutter. Let's not, you know what I mean? What, what's your business address? It is... Uh, 107 7th Street, Washington, D.C., 20005. Okay. Are you 100% owner or is it Adams Morgan part owner? Uh, no, I'm 100% I'm owner. Okay. Right, let me so see. What here. We offer here, what we offer here Wait is a second. Let me get this up. Let me get this thing. I've got, a, I've got a certified pilot who's giving me some numbers here. I've got to capture these real quick here. This is a certified pilot, and I need the cat. Hold on, just one second. I'll be right with you. I got to paste this into another application. I'm hoping it's. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm ready. I can, I can multitask. Go ahead. Okay. So what we offer here is a short-term business financing. We okay. typically structure these six to twelve months payback. Right. In some cases we're able to stretch it out fifteen to eighteen months. Mm -hmm. The amount that we can lend is going to be based off your business cash flow. Um, now, to qualify you, our pricing department will take a look at your recent bank statements, and they would determine an average balance. So we can lend two to five times your average balance in your account, nice. or roughly ten percent of your annual gross revenue. And our process is very quick. It right. only takes one to two business days to complete and have funds wired directly to your business checking out. Does the short-term payback work for you? Uh, yeah, but when you say wire, are you referring to chicken wire or barbed wire? I, 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 can't, I can't play games. Oh, um, I mean... It's a wire to your game. It's a wire to your account. Oh, oh I see. I see. Oh, out. I see. Okay, okay. All right, great. Yeah. Okay, so, yes, yes. Uh, Go ahead. You know, you know what? Um, yeah, so... Yeah, so what's your business email so I can send the quote out to you? It's A L B Y T H E K R U E L at yahoo.com. Can you repeat it back to me one more time? A, A L B Y T H E K R U E L at yahoo.com. Okay. So what I'll go ahead and do is uh, underwrite your file. We'll, we'll get back to you with the quote, all right? All right. And b before we go, now that we've su suspended of all the business talk, let me find out oh. what your favorite uh, Machine Head album is real quick. Okay. okay. You got it. I'll, I'll, send that, I'll, I'll, I'll email that over to you, all right? All right. Very cool. All, all right. right, dude. Sweet. Thanks, man. <laughs> that guy was trippy, wasn't he? <laughs> that was funny. All right, Dr. Who, take it easy, man. Doctor Who. All right. Okay. Let's see. Okay. The scammer. Here's another scammer from Pilot Dude. Very good. Okay. Let's try this one. That was funny. All right. I told him to get his mind out of the gutter. He was not, he didn't have that sense of humor. Boy, boy, he knew how to whisper, though, didn't he? Did I tell you? All right. Here we go. Good to see you guys. Hey, JT Rings. Here, oh, J, uh, I'm just... oh, JT Stacks. I'm sorry. Here, who are we call him, Pilot Dude? By the way, no, that guy was not in the Kiss Army, that's for sure. That one didn't work. That number didn't work. Uh, let's see, he was not tricky. I'm resentful. Oh boy, that was a fun one. Oh, I got a beachfront property in Arizona for sale, dirt cheap. Man, send me the details over to Leo. I might be interested. Lake Havasu has has I think there's a beach at Lake Havasu, so that that's prime real estate, big time. Uh, let's see here. Hey, Chiefly Chieftain, good to see you. It's Friday, yes, indeed. All right, um, so uh, pilot dude, that number did not work. Let's try this other IRS scammer number that I had saved up here. 
Let's try that one for a moment. See if we can get it. But that was a fun one. We may try to. Oh, hey, look at there. Alan Gold, worst broadcast ever. Oh, my gosh, man. Alan Gold is here. Pakistan IRS. Okay, JT Stacks. We'll try that one next. Alan Gold, give me your phone number. We'll try to give you a buzz, too. Let's see if Alan Gold will. I'm waiting for Alan Gold to post his phone number so we can call him. Should be coming forthcoming any moment now from Alan Gold. That'd be fun. Call Alan Gold's house. I bet you will call me. He's a normal family guy. You know, he's probably just completely a normal guy. The text now subscriber you were trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message after the tone. I refuse to leave my message after the tone. I'm not going to do it. It's not going to happen. That's for sure. Wait, I just left a message at the tone. Uh, no one told Sally has a great radio voice. He would have a great voice for cup and string, though. Oh, man. Ah, let's see here. All right, very good. Uh, let's see here. What's the other one? Okay. Did we try the Pakistan? Let me see. Do I have the Pakistan? Let me see if that's Pakistan. All right, Pakistan IRS. Here we go, JT. We're trying JT's number now. If this doesn't work, we're going to try to call the other place back. We're going to call the other place back. Ooh. Alan Gold, that's my number. Seriously, that's my number, Alan Gold. If you let me call you, you'll see that on your caller ID. In fact, Alan Gold, email me at salivatemetal at gmail.com with your phone number. I won't tell anybody. I'll call you and you'll see it. You'll laugh. I'm serious. The Pakistani IRS is not answering the phone, it looks like. So we're going to try to call one more time. Zip Capital Group. Let's try to see if we can get somebody who has a little bit more of a whisper than a whisper. You know what they say about whispers, right? Elvis has left the building, says Donald in New Mexico. When women fart, they whisper Thank in their Thank you for calling. They fart All in their calls panties. will be recorded <laughs> for training and quality purposes. Please hold while I try to connect you. Probably Tuesday. Hello. Hey, what's up, Jessica? He hello. How's it going? My name is Jessica. Uh, yes, hello, Jessica? Yes. Uh, who am I speaking with? This is Jessica. Why would you think otherwise? My name is Jessica. Who is uh, this? Okay. How can I, 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 I want to try to do some funding. I wanted to do some business with Zip Capital. And mm -hmm. uh, and uh, so, yeah, I just um, so what kind of things do you offer? I have a business opportunity. I want to see if I can go in business with you to see if we can make something happen. Is that OK with you? Absolutely. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to transfer you over to one of my representatives. Okay. It's going to best to help you. Okay. Okay. Great. Thank you, sir. No, thank you. Please hold. Yeah, he he knows I'm a. He said he's going to have me on hold in perpetuity. So I'm going to prompt. Hello. Hello, Anthony. Yes, this is Anthony. Hi, sir. This is Diana from CCG Direct. Hello, hello, Diana. Yes, I'm looking to get some funding for my business here, um, and uh, it's called Allen Gold Enterprises. And what we're okay, and how much money you depositing monthly? Um, I'm depositing about. The, well, don't you want to hear about the business first? But I, it, yes, of course. Yeah. Okay. Allen Gold Enterprises is is a company out of California, and what we're trying to do, we're a sales company. We're trying to overtake Salesforce and uh, begin to spread the message about gold, the physical asset, to everyone around the world. Uh, that's our method. So we need some marketing, uh, marketing money to help do that. Can you help us with that? Yeah, I can help you. So all we require is three months of bank payments. I hear some people talking in the background there, Diana. Are they, what are these, yes. are these people laughing at me, Diana? No, no, no. Uh, there's just my coworkers. We're both. Well, yeah, but because I'm uh, because I'm I'm a bit of a snowflake and I'm easily offended. So if they're laughing at me, I'm I I I I I, I might need some counseling here. No, um, how can we help you? Are you how sure they're are you, are you sure they're not laughing at me? 
Oh, they're not okay. Okay. All right. I'd like to get a, possibly about fifty thousand dollars for this marketing uh, we're doing. Okay. Are you the pocket around fifty thousand? What's that? I'm sorry. Are you depositing around fifty thousand? Yes, I'm depositing about forty-five thousand a month, between forty and forty-five thousand a month. Yes. Okay, Do you have an email address where I can send you an application? Yes, but you're breaking up on me. I'm not saying you're breaking up with me, but you're breaking up on me on the line here because we're not dating. So there's no way you can be breaking up with me, but your connection is breaking up on me. You understand? There's a difference. Yeah, I understand. Okay. I think it's my phone that is not working that good. So what I can do is it your cell phone number? Yes. What is the number? You, what is the uh, number you see on the caller ID there? Give me one moment because the call was transferred to me, so your number doesn't show on my computer. Okay. Alan Gold, this will be your proof if she reads back the number. Check this out. She's going to get the number on the caller ID. Yeah, so your number is actually not showing on my computer. So oh, dang it. Phone number so I can go ahead and send you a text. Okay, yeah. Um, dang, I was hoping you'd see that. I tell you what, can I call you back directly so you can see the number that's on the uh, caller ID? We can get a better connection. Which uh, it's hard to hear. People are laughing at me in the background. It's hurting my feelings. Oh uh, no, no, don't worry. They're not laughing at you. We're actually off. So that's why they're laughing. Can, can, can I talk? To, can I talk to one of them just to make sure? Can you put one of them on the line yeah. real quick? Of course. Let Let's me talk to the. Moment. Okay. Thanks. Hello, sir. Sir, somebody, hello. It's a party, that's for sure. It's a crazy party. Hello. And they're off, which means I may need to call them back. We'll wait five more seconds. She's watching TV. Hello? Thanks for calling Zip Capital Group. This is Kyle. Yes, were you the one that was laughing in the background with Diana there? Uh, no, sir, I wasn't. Because I felt like somebody was laughing at me. I hear some other people laughing in the background there. Well, I, I apologize, sir. It, it's the end of the day, so it's, it's a little out in the office. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, the, yeah there is, but the connection is pretty bad. Uh, can you adjust your headset or something? I apologize. I can call you from a landline. Uh, what's the best number to reach you with, sir? Uh, do you see the number on your caller ID? I don't. I'm not sitting in front of Diana's computer right now. I just have her headset. Okay, I tell you what. Let, let me call you back. I'll call you right back, okay? I'll, All right, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. Okay, thanks. All right, let's call them before they leave there. we got to call them back. This is going to be fun. Zip Capital. She's missing out on the cubicle orange in the background. That's right, exactly. It's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Here we go. Thank you for calling. All calls will be recorded for training and quality purposes. Please hold while I try to connect you. Ah, that's a story. I don't hope Barbara's still here. I just gave a slurp for her. Hello? Hello, Anthony? Yes. Can, 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 can you see the number that's on the caller ID there? Yes, I can see it. What is the number there? Can you read it back to me? It's 800-795-3919. No, that's not it. Let me see. Something's... That's the number that is coming out on my computer. That's crazy. That's not my number. That's weird. I've got to see what's going on here. Uh, that's strange. Hold on a minute here. I'll tell you what. Let me, let me try something here real quick here. Hold on a second. Yeah, no, that's not that's strange. That shouldn't be there. Anyways, all right. So what I want to do is I want to have some. I want to do some business with you. Um, and I was trying to find a way. What? What was that? Did you hear that? Is some? No, I couldn't hear anything. Is someone hurting there in your office? I heard someone scream. Are they hurting? I know CPR. I can walk you through CPR to help them out. Uh, no, we're okay, sir. You're okay? All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to find some funding for my business. And I think you'll find this has been a pretty good a lucrative deal that I'm uh, working out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's invol it involves rhodium. It involves the rhodium market. 
ma'am. Hello. Okay. Yeah. You yeah, cut, you, you cut out on me for a minute here. So, so what I'm looking for is, is, uh, is I need to try to find a way to accumulate some rhodium to strike these special coins. I want to get done. No, it's the call in number. Okay, and how much money can you use for that? What did he say about the call in number? The main, can he see my caller ID? No, uh, as I told you, the caller ID that is showing me is 800. That's strange, man. That is weird because it shouldn't be that. Outbound. Let's see what the outbound. I'm checking something here real quick. Um, yeah. So she can see that. He can see that. Ma'am, can I I tell you what? Let me sing you a song real quick, okay? Let me find the song to sing to you. Um, what's your what's your favorite kind of music? I'll pick a song from your genre. Uh, I don't care. Uh, you can sing whatever song you want. Okay. Let's sing uh Let me sing here. Holiday. Celebrate. Holiday. It would be so nice if we had Oh crap. I got gonged. I got gonged, people, like the gong show. She hung up on me. That's not right. And I don't know why my my number's not showing up on the caller ID the way it should. Let me let me try to do this again. Because I want to prove to Alan Gold that my number is 8675309. That's crazy. Let me get back to it here. Okay. All right. Now. Sing Baby by Justin Bieber. I wish, man, I don't even, I wish I knew that song. I don't know that song. Baby by Justin, I know who Justin Bieber is, but I don't know the song Baby. Try to sing her some Madonna, but she didn't Thank like it. Thank you for calling. All calls will be recorded for training and quality purposes. Please hold while I try to connect you. Yeah, it does happen a lot to me. Everyone likes that song, baby. I'll have to, I'll have to check it out. I, I, man, I know I've probably heard it, Stacking Nerd, but I can't think of it. Oh, I know some. Now, what, what I can do is Stacking Nerd, I can sing some. Um, oh, uh, what's her name? Britney Spears. Hello. Yes, um, I was in the middle of singing a song and I got hung up on. What, what's your name? Uh, my name is Megan. You've reached our answering service. How can I help you? Oh, yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Um, well, what I was doing is there was a lot of commotion in the background, and she told me to sing her a song. So I'm going to continue. Now, this is um, this is uh, going to be some Britney Spears, and it's, um, um, man, what is the name of the song? Oh, shoot. All right, sir. Well, there's not any, any, any noise in the background now. It's, um, right now, the office itself is away from the phone. I can take a message and ask the office to return their call. Okay. What number do you see on the caller ID there for you? It's showing the 800 number. It's not showing your phone number. Dang it. That sucks. I wanted to show my phone number because you're going to love the phone number. Seriously. My, my phone. You want, my, you, want, you want to know what my phone number is? Go ahead. What's the number? It's 1202-867-5555. You can fill in the blank there, right? Mm -hmm, okay. You get it? So what's the number? Just to clarify. The, there you go. Boom. You got it. You got it. You got it. All right. All right. So the name is Salavate. And you can call me that for short because it's easier to say than Sal. And, uh, and yeah, just have them call me back at that number and that name. They'll know who I am. And, uh, yeah, and we'll kind of go from there. Okay, perfect. I'll try to get back to the Yeah, I hope they call back soon. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Have a, you're have, welcome. Have, have, a have a good weekend. Happy Columbus Day. Happy 4th of July next year. She hung up on me. Dang it. Yeah, she just doesn't want to talk to me. Donald in New Mexico wrote the song The Whole World Sings. All right. Who's scamming who? There you go. Hey, that's, isn't that a song by um, uh, Reba, uh, Aretha Franklin? Who's scamming who? 
Oh my gosh. Just repeating what I see. All right, let's see. Okay. Uh, oh, I know what's going on. Okay, let's see here. Leave that. I can't believe my number's not showing up. Let's try. See, that's California, man. They, they closed down early in California. Dang these people. All right, let's get back. We'll try one more here. All right, Stephen Heath, time for bed. Good night, chaps. Have a good night. Chapsticks. Out now, Bohemoth. Pre-order Soulfly. Okay. All right, let's give Khalif a call. We're gonna. Oh, you know what? Let's call. Let's try to call. Let's try to call um, Pete Olson, Peter Olson, real quick here. He hasn't sent me an email in a while. We need to get get him on the line here, Pete Olson. We have better luck. See, it's better to call them quickly. Quickly, you know what I mean? It's Boy, this my email is like really slow. I wish would one would call me on this other phone here. Crap. My email locked up, people. I can't find oh here's Peter Olson's number. Come on, Pete, Pete, come on, Pete. Independent affiliate. I need to get what I need to do is I need to do something here. Let me try this. And to give him a call from this other. Let's try this here. Sal is calling for Peter. Yeah, we did. We tried to call Peter earlier, but he wouldn't answer. And he says he monitors his phone all the time, 24-7. So much for that, right? Oh, I love Pink Floyd, too. Pink Floyd. Please the office of Pete Olson. Please leave your name. Pete, we're going to call you again, Pete. That's no... That's rude to just have a good ruck at a voicemail. That's not cool. You reach the office of Pete Olson. Please leave your name and your number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Dang it, Pete Olson. Oh, Lord Humongous. The uh, wasteland got my Stormy Daniels blown up, but now it's leaking. Oh, my goodness. That was out in uh, Las Vegas where you got that. It's leaking. Oh, my goodness. You know, that's what, that's what happens. There's a lot of leaking that goes on in Washington these days. That's for sure. Oh, my gosh. But thank you, Lord Humongous. Appreciate that. It's awesome. Purple Floyd is awesome, too. That's for sure. So it's Pretty Boy Floyd. That is an 80s metal band for you. Pretty Boy Floyd. Does anybody have a favorite politician right now? Oh, boy. I don't know. Let's see here. Uh, uh, Sal is life's worst case scenario. Well, hey, you know, <laughs> there you go, Alan. Man, I would love to talk to Alan Gold. That'd be fun. He's been silent on all the – he's been – he's not been on – um on the snooze units uh live streams either he's been he's been scott peterson there you go scott peterson isn't he wasn't scott peterson the uh the guy that killed his wife out in california lacy peterson or whatever is that the same one uh let's see here okay i'm drinking a tall glass of liberal tears yankee pride uh let's see here. okay where are we at let's see no more I think we're done with the calls. No luck. I'm trying to think if I have any other buddy that I can call here. I've got, I could call Mike Anthony from Goldline. They actually called me. Uh, let's see here. I saw part of it, Eric. Yeah. Let's see here. Um, I don't know. Let's see here. All right. Press the number. Press the number 65. If you want me to make one more call, if you want me to continue back with the comments, press the number two. MLMs. Yeah. These people will bite. Yeah. Well, that's what I tried to. That's why I called them um, uh, Peter um, Olson stacking there because he's an MLM. He's an ML, a multi-level marketer. Yeah, skimming MLMs. If I knew of any others to call, I would uh, branch out into that. Okay, so we are right, here. We go. Everybody wants me to call, call and ask about the peacock and the paper. Yeah, there we go. Or uh, Albert in a can. Prince Albert in a can. Right? You ever heard that one? All right, we'll try. Let's see here. Let me try to find. One of these, 
other numbers. I'm going to try to branch out and uh, see here. Try two different ones here. Uh, two different numbers here. We'll try it. Yeah, Peter, Peter, Peter Olson, pumpkin eater. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Your call is very important to us. Here we go. And you'll be transferred to the next available agent. I got somebody. Here's one for you, Barbara. <laughs> I'd rather comment on conspiracy theories. There you go. That's stacking nerds jam right here, buddy. Oh yeah. Well, I wish I had my guitar, man. We could jam to this. There's this one, and then there's another on hold music that totally rocks, man. It's just like little double bass in there. All right, guys, they're not they're not going to answer. All right, all right, sorry, guys. All right, well there we go. We had some fun. We caught it. We had a. We had. Some, let me try. All right, we'll try one more. Um, let's see here. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I'm trying to find one more number here. Okay, not have any luck. Uh, okay. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Might try this one here. Some of these people, they want to, they want to give you some back braces or something that Medicaid would pay for it. Oh, fresh IRS scammer number. Very good working class. All right. We'll try that one next after this one. Awesome. Mr. Working class. You're awesome. Call Stormy Daniels. There you go. Ooh, I should have sent you one of the many hold music CDs I knew you liked. There you go. Stack of them. They're cheesy and hilarious. Oh, that would be fun. Billy Ocean. There you go. When the going gets tough, the tough gets going. There you go. How about um, a lover boy? Would it be your love? The voicemail box of 512-350-7330. Dude, you didn't leave a greeting on your, he just says a little beep. I don't know who you are. You know what I mean? You're supposed to be an IRS scammer, but maybe you're not. Maybe not. All right, let's try it. Okay. I think Alan Gold has a crush on Terry Rabideau. That's the only reason why um, he's here. All right, we're going to call this uh, number and ask him how big a boy are they. How big a boy are you? Like R.D. Mercer. Here's here's already Mercer. How big a boy are you? <laughs> we blew her out. There he goes. Since you're in silver, that's funny. So when are you gonna do, do a live interview? Hey, I'll do it. anybody that has a channel, we'll have them on and uh we'll do a live interview. That'd be great. We'll get uh no answer. No answer from this fresh scammer number. What's up, Kendall Kid? Good to see you. All right. All right, we're done. All right, guys, that's it. We had some fun. We had some fun with the scammers. Let's get back to the front here and get this ball a rolling here with the comments and discussions of the day. That's always good to. Have a little fun with some scammers. That's all right. There. Okay. Mr. Ninja says, I just keep my pace. Let me get in my clipboard here. All set. See what Mr. Ninja says. I just keep my pace of buying when I can, slowly accumulating, and luckily over the last few months, lowering my average cost per ounce. So there you go. I do what I can with what I have, not sweating the depressed prices. If one buys PMs as a tr traditional investment, and the hope to strike it rich, you're in the game for the wrong reasons. I agree. Happy stacking. That's right. And, uh, you know, there's ways to make money off gold and silver collector coins if you know the right timing. 
or classic numismatics. But that's a matter of timing, too. Indeed. All right. Hey, headbangers ball plus Sal equals headache ball. Now, there you go. That's right. Exactly. That's what it is. Okay. Here, let's see. Our Electro Pig von Fuchengruben says there's another simpler physical way for dealers to limit their losses. Buy whenever their inventory changes past a certain amount. Say the price goes down to a dollar per ounce for silver. They automatically place a new order every time the inventory goes 500 ounces lower. That way, they've sold at a loss. Those losses are limited to the sale of 500 ounces total. The inventory is replaced by 500 ounces of the then current price. Since then, most people order less than 500 ounces at a pop, they'll buy at a higher price break level. And since dealers are better get better prices for 500 ounces and above than their suppliers, they've effectively covered most of all the losses through differences. And worse, the losses are minimized and the dealer are completely nullified and they keep their doors open. Yeah, that is, that is true. Wow. When their ch inventory changes. Yeah, they know. They have insurance. They've got ways to cover themselves for sure. Thanks, Electro Pig. Okay. I was scamming the scammers, Terry Rabidou. Yes. Yeah, or Ricky Rackman. You need to know, here's some news for you. Ricky Rackman and the ter uh, Taylor Dane, or no, what, not Taylor Dane, but the guy, from, the lead singer from uh, Faster Pussycat co-owned a bar, a bar, um, uh, the Cat House, the Cat House. All right. Jaw dropping and game changer now no longer allowed on YouTube titles. Wow. LL Cool J is a likable dude. Yes, he is. And by the way, LL Cool J, Here's a story about LL Cool J. He had somebody break into his house, and he uh, stopped him, held him at bay until the cops arrived. It was pretty cool. Beat him silly, too. Don't break into LL Cool J's house, that's for sure. Ethan Moore says, me too, Salivate. Uh, I usually buy at the wrong time. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. This time, I actually made a purchase at the right time. This one-ounce gold coin I got, I got it at the, at the right time. It's all right, all right. Hey, take care, corn. Have a good evening. Yeah, cleanse. Opinions on JSNP4. Uh, I don't know anything about JSNP4 um, over here. My only opinion of JSNP4 is, is I'm, I've ventured to guess and theorize that JSNP4 has had a vasectomy, um, a double vasectomy or a quadruple vasectomy, hence JSNP4. That's the only thing I know about, J or I can venture to guess about JSNP4. Yeah, corn, you have to keep us do a video on your diet. I'm curious. Your cleansing must be a lot of water or something like that to pee a lot. Get a bedpan handy, whip it out, and, you know, let it go. That's four. Okay, all right, let's see. All right, it's on the floor of the trend it up. Screaming Silver Eagle. Thanks, man. We're going to call him into the live stream right now as we. Uh, I'm a Meteo Man. They can do so much better. Look at the Palladium coin. Though with various levels of frosting, they can jazz a coin up. Yes, they sure can. Um, of course, these, they will probably not be, even though they're not meant for circulation, it'll be like half dollars and, and stuff. So anyways, all right, very good. Let's see here. Oh, uh, so Barbara's doing a cleansing too. Yeah, I'm, or I'd like to do figure that out. Do, I wonder if there's a way to do that with not a whole lot of effort. I'd like to do that too. I've heard, um, what's the best way to cleanse your whole system? I've seen ads about it, but I don't wonder, I don't, I'm kind of suspicious of them, but if anybody knows of a way to do it, is eating kale or something like that a way to do it? I don't know. Okay. Jeff Fuhrer says the reset is scheduled for 10 10 2018, according to many online sources. That's interesting. Wow, I just posted a video about could the dollar already be in a reset? That's in a couple of days, man. Jeff Fuhrer. Oh, I almost gave myself a wedgie. I almost, it didn't happen. I could have. I could still do it. I could, you know, I've got, I, I could give myself a wedgie right now, but I'm not going to do it. Donald New Mexico is going to stick to burritos to cleanse. There you go. <laughs> now that's the way to do it. Remind me not to go over for supper after or after supper at Donald's house for burritos. Just water for two to three days is one way. Okay, Barbara. Actually, you, you'll be proud of me, Barbara. I know I'm drinking coffee, but I drink a fair amount of water. Um, I probably have, oh, I'm going to say two, three glasses a day of water. 
Is that good? I don't know. I, I admit I'm lazy when it comes to eating. I really am. Drinking Drano will cleanse your system real good. There you go, Tex, man. That's for sure. Tea. I do drink tea. I drink green tea twice a day. If I get my hands on some white tea. Oh, up it to eight. Oh, wow. Okay, up to eight. Man. There's water and coffee. There you go, Centurion Silver. Thank you. There's water and coffee. And also in beer, too. Maybe I should drink, just drink beer. A lot of beer. <laughs> you people are great. Oh, my gosh. All right. Farkas. Good share, Sal. will be fun to, sh to see how PMs finish out this year. By the way, the You Can Do It channel got taken down by YouTube. And um, and uh, they really did give, give, didn't give him a reason why. Um, and I think it's unfortunate. And I, don't, I, I hope he can get it back. But that's Farkas there. Um, I drink five bottles of water a day. Kidney stones suck. Oh, stacking nerd. I'm sorry you had kidney stones. Dang. Wow. Mischievous Mallard drinks 16 ounces of pop a day. Now I'm flushed out. And buff. There you go. Water's a great way to cl uh, cleanse and flush. It's true. Yes, indeed. Okay. All right. Well, I'll, I'll try to increase my water intake a little bit. Two to three glasses. or I mean, like this bottle of water I have here is 16 fluid ounces. Um, is that considered a glass? What's con is it eight ounces a glass? I don't know. Kidney stone drugs are great, but yeah, oh, kidney stones. Man. <clears throat> I've heard spinach can cause kidney stones. I, I eat spinach every day, too, at lunch. Food Stamp says, what's up? Hey, Food Stamp, appreciate that, man. And, and Alan Gold, are you still here, Alan Gold? You better be. You better not have left without saying goodbye, or I'm going to be ticked. Anyway, Alan Gold, I need to clear up with you that I know that sup means what's up, not support. I'm just showing, he's saying, he's showing you support. Alan Gold, you better answer me. You better come on here and answer me or I'm going to kick your butt. David Argento changed his avatar picture. Wow, that's cool. Anyway, it looks like a cornucopia gold uh, pamp suisse. I'm going to wait and see how October plays out before I make another purchase. My next gold piece I will get a one ounce Queen's Beast Falcon. I still need to get my quarter ounce, but very cool, David David Argento. You're awesome. By the way, Eric, uh, did you get my email today? I'm no Howard Stern, that's for sure. I'm no Howard Stern. Tide Pods does a trick. Swallow with Clorox. Now, there you go. There you go. Over here says, I don't hear much about solar panels and solar energy. Silver is a component solar panels, which would affect an industrial demand. Yes, I did a video on that uh, a while ago, a couple of weeks ago, um, about solar panels. And um, actually, I've done a couple of them, but more recently, maybe late last year or, well, no, earlier this year, I did a video on it. Yes, cool. All right. Thank you, Eric. Just wanted to check and see. That's cool. Thanks, my friend. All right. Oh, man. Oh. Lord Humongous pictures Terry holding a wrench naked. Oh, my goodness gracious. Scandalous. Scandalous. Well, I thought we were listening to a stacker channel. All right. Uh, Steve Rice says, you get what you pay for, not always. Yes, indeed. That's for sure. All right. Uh, Punchbowl Turd says, I hope the Bitcoin lesson has been finally learned. I've not been keeping up with Bitcoin compared to gold, but uh, um, I know some people have say it's going to go sky high and other people say it's going to crash. Uh, but I'm not uh, – drink hemlock, great cleanse. Okay, thank you, Alan. Well, so he did come back on here. Hello, Universal Vibes TV representing. Good to see you. Lavender Clorox is for Stacking Nerd. Ooh, yes, that's right, Donald. Thank you for reminding me. I meant to actually do a video on this. I need to – I still need to get the last one. But there is a new Route 66 bullion uh, bar out today. I like that series. I think it's pretty cool. It's a bridge in Missouri, I think, Donald. Is that right? Pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Let's see here. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Medium Man. Fantastic looking metal, but is it legal? $10. 
Ah, spoke too soon. Yes, indeed. Yeah, great minds think alike, media man. I wondered the same thing. I may do a video on it and uh, to talk about it. Uh, but Doctor Who, who got some good news today. Well, it's is that good or bad? Most everyone was hoping for lower prices, and now, yeah, I don't know, man. It's see the thing is, it's a win-win situation for us if gold goes down or up because we're we're collecting it, uh, stacking no matter what. Because we understand what it's for, indeed. Zipfix Guitar says, I'm getting as much as I can now. Hope it stays low for four to five years so I can get more. Then go up. There you go. Only thing is, as I mentioned before, I almost feel guilty saying, because I feel the same way, Zipfix, is the people that need to sell it now um, are not going to, you know, especially if they bought at higher prices, I feel bad for those people. But anyways. Ooh, Don, uh, Barbara Carbone has has three Route 66 pieces. Awesome. Very cool. All right. Minnie Huni Stacker says, cool, my president. Interesting. Thanks for sharing. Well, thank you, Minnie Huni. You're awesome. Appreciate you, my friend. Danny Lopez, ETFs. So much smarter to have precious metals in your hands or mouth, period. There you go, Danny. Wise words. Got the double helix in the tree of life thing going on in his avatar. That's pretty cool. True, Kendall Kid is still here. Breaking news. Kendall Kid is still here. Machine Head album, Deep Purple. There you go over here. That's right. Machine Head is an album by Deep Purple, and it may have inspired the name. Yes, Richie Bravo, we are still live. Very good. Kansas Rainbow Bridge. Thank you, Donald. Thank you. Move this back now. All right. Great job. Thank you for sharing uh, with us. All the best and happy hunting. Well, thank you, Avengers. I appreciate your support, my friend, for watching and showing that support. It means a lot. I appreciate that. Silver Baggins says, demand up, price up. Who would have thought? Not me. <clears throat> yes, indeed. Or me, maybe. Okay, boss, I'll do exactly what you say, and in no time, I'll be a very rich man. Thank you, dude. I'm just kidding. Feeling silly. Hey, no problem, Ken Frankie. We have to have a little fun. Yeah, don't ever take me too soon. Well, you know, and the thing is, it's, it's fun to kind of analyze the markets and talk about where the sentiment is from day to day and what people are saying and thinking. But, um, you know, I don't have no skin in the game because no matter what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep them and have them all smoke in the water for me. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see here. Oh, so those are the forbidden, here, look at the forbidden chat room questions from Tricky Guy. Yes, indeed. As we round out that coffee, uh, I've been remiss on my slurping here. And I'm going to put some in my fire, in my coffee cup so I can slurp some more. Okay. Tricky guy, it's a sad day when Sal walks back a prediction. I'm mentally sending you a bouquet of flowers and joy during your bereavement. Well, you know what, tricky guy? If you listen carefully in that video, I actually didn't walk it back. I figured, what the hey, what the hey, stick with it. If I'm wrong, I'm going to be really wrong, big time wrong. Uh, but I'm sticking with my prediction. And Alan Gold can take and make fun of me on another live stream on this prediction. It's right here. Alan Gold's going to hear it. He can refer back to this timestamp in this live stream where I'm going to pretend I'm a gold and silver pumper for a moment. Alan Gold, are you listening? Are your ears perked up? Silver, not $20 an ounce, but very close to it. Gold, not $1,400 an ounce, but pretty close to it by the end of the year. There's my predictions for you. Will I be wrong? Probably. Might I be right? Maybe, Alan Gold. Maybe. Are you hearing me? There it is. Okay. Now I'm a certified gold and silver pumper. You heard it right there first. Tennessee Walker says, I like everything gold and silver. I love that I can hold and like what I can trade. Physical for the treasure, paper for the trade. Dollars are important too. It's the world we live in. Yes, there you go. All right. Very good. All right. Good point. Good reasoning there, Tennessee Watcher. All right, Silver Leo is here. Silver Leo is your friend. Very good. All right. And um, 
Terry Rabideau is the one thing that is keeping Alan Gold inside the chat. That's it. Lord Humongous says it's going to blast past 1400 gold and $20 silver. Wow. Well, this is just till the end of this year. Vote South for president in 2020 so we can get back on bullion currency. There you go. And Danny, I made a, a comment about your uh, profile picture. I love that double helix going up into the tree of life. That, that's awesome. Very clever. Crizzy 100 is here. I, I'm not, not in here, but she's posted on one of my videos. Amazing. She says, I told you gold will stay at around the same between $1,100 and $1,300 while Trump is in office and makes America great again. He's doing a hell of a job. Mark one words, he will go down in history. He's one of the great presidents in U.S. history with Alpha Dem's help. Wow. Very cool. All right. And she says, you and Sal are about the only ones I still get videos from. So there you go. I've seen two videos today uh, from you about stacking and one. Why? And some fireside chat thing. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, Chrissy. Appreciate it. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Steven Shiner says, come on, the silver shot to do that. Melting down. Get silver shot to do that. Uh, boy, I'm getting raked over the coals from, for using silver bars instead of silver shot. I'm not a professional. Uh, and that was done quite a while ago, but there they go. All right. Long leak malt liquor. No, just water right now, actually. Hey, Medio Man is here. Hello, Medio Man. I'm finally pronouncing it right. Crizzy lives. Yes, she does, stacking nerd. Yes, miss seeing Crizzy around. And we're glad Media Man is here. All right. Bitcoin is going to $20,000 again soon. Okay. Okay, Donald in New Mexico, it's been a gas. You know what, Donald? You're taking off for supper. And uh, it means that um, um, you must be having a lot of uh, burritos if, there's, if it's going to be a gas. Silver Stanger says, I think we are through the slump finally, says Silver Stanger. Yeah, may, I think maybe so too. We shall see. Yes, the wrench. Terry, where's your wrench? We gave her a wrench for a moment. I think Kid needs the wrench this time. Let's see here. Yeah. Sam won't give me one. I think, did I give you one before for a while, Terry? I need a ranch to ban someone. Well, that's the only thing. That's the only thing why I'm uh, resting it because I don't want to. I don't want to give people too much. With great power comes great responsibility. Yes, indeed. <laughs> great power comes responsibility. Tone Capone says they're not cornering. That's not the correct word. J.P. Boring is not cornering the silver market. This is not a conspiracy. You might want to read a book to get a brighter idea of just how things happen in the world. That book is Creature of Jekyll Island. The same type of players are in the game today. Keep stacking silver. Yes, indeed. All right. All right, Silver Leo, have a good night. Appreciate you coming on, my friend. Have a good, have a good night. Appreciate it. All right, let's see here. Salvation Nation says D Walker. I saw in another video that Trump rented a room in his tower to Abmex for three thirty-two Troy ounce gold bars. Yes, that was back in I think two thousand and thirteen. And I actually posted a video about that some time ago, D. Walker. But yes, uh, that was quite a while ago. I don't know if it's still in effect or not. But anyways, hey, speaking of Terry Rabideau, she says this whole metal thing is a wild ride and I love it. Woohoo. Thanks for sharing and have a nice day. Boy, you know what would be nice? You know what would be nice, folks? If uh, I could post a link and get uh, Terry Rabideau to come inside of this chat, in this live stream right now, and recreate this comment right here and have her read it. I want to hear her say, woo-hoo. And then if Tara Rabideau comes in, then we'll have Alan Gold, who's in a great mood because he said, love is in the air everywhere I look around. It's not very often that uh, we hear Alan Gold say such positive things. We sell me your Geiger silver bar. Oh, man, I'm sorry. The wasteland. I can't sell that. I got it. I like my Geiger bar. I'm sorry. Over here, no, I'm no Howard Stern. That's for sure. We can make a deal, Sal. All right, you, if you, all right, yeah, you come on in. What do you think? Silver Wolverine. It was proven the lady who was screaming at the flake in the elevator was a paid protester. Wow. Yeah, I think I heard that too. Uh, Alan is happy today. Alan's in a good mood. It must not be. 
That means his menstrual cycle is over, so that's good. Medium Man loves fellow stackers. Yes, I do too. Truncate table employees. I effectively fired everyone. There we go. All right. Very good. All right. So let's see here. All right. Can we can make a deal? All right. So why don't we discuss it inside this live stream? We might do that. We're going to put the link out there here in a minute, folks. Be prepared. Maybe we both got it right for a change sale. I bought gold too. Very cool. All right. Very good. Nice. Maybe so. Congratulations, CZT. You show me your gold, I'll show you mine. I hope we can see it. All right. As of 2 a.m., the U.S. dollar index is up. Gold is 11.98. Too bad. Hasn't hit the bottom. I know, man. Yeah, it's crazy. I think it's over $1,200 again. Lucille Rocks. Okay, guys, I'm going to put this link out here. All right. And it's official. Alan Gold wants me to go sleep outside with no grass on the ground, just dirt. Uh, that's uncomfortable, so I won't do it. All right, let's see here. All right, here we go, guys. Here's the link for Stacking Nerd if she wants to come in. The link for anybody, but Terry Rabideau has demands. She's going to tell me those demands when she comes in. And Alan Gold can come in too if he wants. Actually, I demand that he comes in. It's not, there's no choice in the matter. He's got to come in here. All right. That's an, that's an order. And I must be obeyed. All right. All right. Where do we go? I have demands. Let's see here. Let's see here. Okay. I love you all. I love all you guys. All right. They, 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 there you go. You got it. You have got the endorsement, Terry Rabidou. You've got the endorsement of Barbara Carbone uh, to come in the live stream. It doesn't get any better than that, Barbara Carbone. You know what? Silver Wolverine has just posted the truth bomb of the day. The truth bomb of the day from Silver Wolverine. Alan Gold is a chicken butt. He's a chicken crap hole. And uh, he won't come in here. But we'll get Terry in here because Terry's going to set set Silver Wolverine. I mean, he's going to set uh, Alan Gold straight. He's gonna, she, he's, she's going to whip him into shape. Gold is above silver, platinum is above gold. So where does palladium fit on the luxury list of precious metals? Somewhere in between, even though it's rarer than all those metals. Mischievous Mallard, do you brush your teeth? Yes, I do. Twice a day. Also floss them too. I floss and brush and use mouthwash. And uh, I wouldn't manage a McDonald's, but I would eat there. Uh, let's see. Why aren't these people coming in? Here, I posted the link. It's not happening. Terry? 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 Bueller? 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 Most hated. Dang, we had some pretty coins in this country once upon a time. The new state quarters are nothing but an eyesore marketing strategy. Well, it's the congressional marketing strategy, indeed. That's for sure. Uh, let's see here. You would have managed McDonald's during the coins. Yes, indeed. That's right there, stacking nerd. Hey, Electro Pig von Fuchengruven. Here is Blink Banky. All right. Because we're all drunk. That's what it is, Barbara. They're all drunk. Sell face reveal. I'll think about it. If you come on here, we'll talk about my face reveal. How much you can take. I don't think, you, you know, you barf all over the place if you saw my face. I joined, but I'm boring. You're not boring. Stacking there. Good grief. You're anything but boring. Good grief. You're awesome. That Your live stream from the um, Dragon Con was the bomb diggity. But no pressure. No one's got to join. The only one who's really has to um, join us is, is, is Alan Gold. I mean, it's that's that's it. It's mandatory for him. One CJS for you. My stacking strategy is one 10-ounce sunshine bar. One tenth ounce eagle each payday. So don't use mouthwash more than two times a week. It's bad to use it. No, what? No, what? Oh, electro oh, here. Here. Can you turn down the, uh, the, the YouTube side there, my friend? Let me see. Oh, I think I missed it. Okay. okay. Anyways, nope. anyways, while you do that, um, 
Okay, that should work. Okay, cool. All right, let, let me let me address this comment uh, one, from one CJS for you. Only two times a week to use mouthwash. That's it. Wow, I use it every day. That's I didn't realize that. Um, I wonder why that is. That's crazy. All right, Electro Pig, do you want to uh, help me through some of these comments real quick? What do you think? Or what do you want? You want to try to help me get Terry Rabidou in here? And Alan Gold is is required to be here, but uh, he's not showing up for some reason. Okay, here we go. No, I was no, messing, with my, uh, messing with my speaker volume here, so I didn't backfeed. Okay. Uh, yeah, this wild turkey guy. It says beautiful drool. He saw this almost 100 ounces of gold video that I posted. I might be dropping a bomb uh, sometime in the next couple of weeks, days here in that regard. Um, uh, UAW sucks, which stands for the United Auto Workers Union, apparently. In theory. In theory. <laughs> he says, he says, am I gold demand? Uh, Russia's mm -hmm. going up. He says, nope. That's all. That's what he's got. He says, nope. Wonder if he's talking about Leslie Nope. Alan Gold is the butthole of the century. Let's just trash Alan Gold here while we're let's take a moment to pause for this very uh solemn time so that we can do a great service to society as a public service announcement here. Let me slurp real quick here first, Electro Pig. We are here to, we are here to trash Alan Gold. Okay. Yes, indeed. What's the biggest insult you can think of for Alan Gold? And then you do one, then I'll do one. Uh, That's pretty bad. That was a snort. That was a pig snore from Electra Pig Von Fuchengruben. It doesn't get any worse than that. There you go, Alan Gold. It could have been a... Now there, that's an even better one. Wow. <laughs> Squeal like a pig. There's your deliverance thing. Just like deliverance. That, that's it. Just like deliverance, Alan Gold. Is he still here? He got a pretty mouth. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> and and, uh, and Kendall Kid says Alan Gold is a major butt plug. I've got another one. I say Alan Gold's so uh, dumb that his mother couldn't pass second grade for him 30 years before he was born. In other words, his mom uh, was artificially inseminated when she was like 54. That's how. Alan, is, that's how. He's truly a son of a motherless goat, that boy. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And um, yes, well, mischievous Mallard. If we can get Alan Gold to come on here, we'll have him say, "All hail the marvelous Mallard." Oh, we don't want to piss Alan. You know, we might. He's a he's a snowflake from California. He's a snowflake, so it'll be pretty. He's easily offended. Isn't that kind of funny when you really think about it? The majority of snowflakes are in an area that's usually about 95 to 105 degrees. Yeah. The biggest one is Alan Gold. I'll tell you. You, you, you get some of them there fellers up here north of the 49th, I'll tell you. They be dying of a terminal case of hard nipples in about an hour and a half. That's right. Exactly right. Jeff Fuhrer has never heard of Alan Gold. Oh, my gosh. Hey, Health Babe is here, by the way. Hello, health babe. Good to see you. She's lovely. Health babe's awesome. She's got a great voice. When she comes in here, she she completely just overwhelms. She she makes she brightens up the room. I mean, not that you don't electric. You got a great voice too, electric pig. But she's got a smooth voice. Very That's okay. I got I I know I know I got a face for radio and a voice for TV. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. I I've I've got to. I've got none for either, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, let's get through the um, comments here. All right, 925 says, I believe it will always be sideways for a short time, then rise this winter. Next year should see a gradual rise in price, waiting on a more realistic ratio before I get more gold. Yes, indeed. And that's just it. When, will that ratio ever tighten up? I don't know. It, it may not. I mean, I won't say that this is the new norm, but I think that the – previous norm is long gone. I don't think we're going to see those ratios uh, come back. Um, in other words, where was, was it like 40 to one is what I think people were most used to 40 to 50 to one at one time. Uh, but anyways, 
pretty much in the 30 range. There, there are a lot of people that are predicting that we go to, to the 30 and 40 range. And in, in that case, whatever you, whatever anybody spent like 15, well, on this side of the border, it's closer to 25 bucks an ounce. Right. You know, we're still looking at 84 to one right now, or what was it the last time you looked? I think it was 82. Yeah. Some 82 to 84 to one. Yeah. Yeah. So anyone who bought it 82, 81, 84, they're pretty much not going to be complaining that much because their silver is going to go up double against the price of gold. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, definitely. Especially if yeah, you captured that. Hey, yeah. check this, check this out. Electro pig, electro pig, Monfuken Al D says my local gun store trades gold and silver for guns and ammo. That's pretty cool. That would not be bad. Yeah. Except uh, up here in Kanukistan, and we haven't quite got that option. Yeah. Hey, by and the way, there's don't something. Don't let your government do it to you. Exactly. Exactly. Literally, yeah. in Canada, just just a, completely off the off the beaten path. In Canada, yeah. you can get a gun license. You can get any kind of gun you want. The same as in the states, with the exception of machine guns. Okay. Despite the fact that the politicians are always assuming that people think that a semi-automatic is a machine gun which it ain't right exactly but the problem is what they do in canada is you pay for your right to own a gun you pay for the gun you pay for the license and you have a daily background check for the rest of your life wow and, and, and you can't travel with it either right you can't travel mostly where you can't uh carry you can it. travel across canada but what okay. you have to do is every time you leave the house with a, a weapon that you own, right. you have to notify the police and tell them where you're going. Wow. And you can't stop from point A to point B. Man, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, not to a little bit, subject, but I've got to not to change the subject, but I've got to call okay. this out because back on topic. I, yeah. I don't want anybody to use my words against me. So when I say something, when I make predictions, I say, don't quote me on that. Or actually, wait, I take that back. I say, quote me on that. Because Tricky Guy says, once you said, I don't ever think we'll see under $15 silver again, a mere few months ago. Dang, I've been caught. I've been caught, Electro Pig. I had said the same thing about yep. a year ago. Yep. So you ain't the only one. Yeah, so I I was wrong. I thought, and, and he's right. Tricky guy's right. I I thought for sure fifteen was the bottom, but here we are, well under fifteen. Now I'm saying probably I doubt if we'll see under fourteen hundred fourteen, uh, um, fourteen an ounce. But who knows? We'll see. Well, I'm hoping that your your current prediction is as accurate as both of our previous uh, predictions were. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Oh man, let's see here. Okay, all right. Alan Gold is still here. He's not left, so he's maybe he's got a little bit of a spy. Maybe he'll come in here. Let me go back. I'm going to go here and delete this link. I, I think we done got them all afeard that we's going we's going to harass them in a linguificational way if they comes in here. Alan, hey Alan, I tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you come in here, we'll treat you like total garbage. All right. We'll gang up on you. We'll treat you like total garbage. We'll troll you inside the lot. You, we'll treat you not like we would treat in a normal person. Is that a deal? We okay. shall endeavor. We shall endeavor. We shall do that for for Jimmy Olsen. You can be you can be my little Jimmy Olsen. How's that, Alan Gold? Yes. You can be my, my little Jimmy Olsen. You can be my little photographer that follows me around. I'll be your lowest lane. You can be my little Jimmy Olsen. How's that? Okay. <laughs> We're going to treat you like a zygote. We're going to treat him like a little zygote. <laughs> Terry Rabideau. Oh, Terry Rabideau says Alan might destroy me if he came in here. You know oh, what? He sounds like such a brute. <laughs> He's a brute. Oh, my God. Centurion <laughs> Silver's got a, got his headphones on. He's listening. Let's whisper. Okay, so if Centurion... Let's put put them real tight to your ears, Centurion Silver. We're going to whisper. Whisper into your ears, Centurion Silver. Yes, indeed. There you go. All right. Very good. All right. Very good. Okay. All right. 
Sorry, we're having a little fun here, guys. Well, that's crazy about Canada. I'd, I'd be a little bit paranoid if I had a gun in Canada. Southside Stacker says, we hold these precious metals to be self-evident. I like that. That's going to be a title of a video for sure. Yes, that was one of the lines I put on the end of this video here. Cool. Thanks for recognizing that. Uh, south side appreciated kung fuzi uh, 10 ounce coots especially yes indeed whisper yes sal does bane panty whisper there you go chiefly chieftain that's it a little bit of panty whisper ring silver honda says gold and silver spot price is going up a little bit but a lot lower than it was this past spring. That's right. I'm glad to hear that you constantly mention that our beautiful precious metal isn't an investment. It's a hedge against inflation. That's right. Can't say it. Because so many people say that. Okay, all right, we'll get the link in. We might even get Centurion Silver in here. Yes, I love Alan Gold. They can see here. We'll see. We'll try to get them in here. Uh, we'll link. We're gonna, that means I got to do two clipboards. Right here. We got to. Which means now I got to go copy the other text back over. The things I do for Alan Gold is crazy. Hey, Sal, I just found out something that I, I have to prevent you from ever doing. Yes, it's sir. It's a huge mistake. Okay. I have just found out that if you have a travel mug, you cannot slurp. Never, ever put Ooh. yourself in that position on video. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, thank you. Yes, I've heard that. That's not good to slurp on a travel mug. Yeah. No, it, it's, it's, it, it makes, you get none of the auditory bliss normally associated with a proper mug. Yeah. It's just unnatural. It is. I tell you, I, it, I, maybe I'll try it one time just for gets and shiggles. Centurion is here. What up, Drew? I was hoping you'd say that. <laughs> there's, there's two troops in here, though, now. Now we're getting a team back together, boy. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, indeed. Ethan Moore, Salve, I always remember you You and I buy at the wrong prices. Yeah. Well, Ethan, I proved myself wrong this time, this little purchase I did. Ooh, Salve should do a studio tour, but he is using an HP Brio. Actually, no, I've got a um, an iBuyPower. Uh, let me see if I can do this. Well, let me, all right, let me hold on. Yeah, crap, I'm torn. All right, let me do this for, for Stacking Nerd. I'll show her my, I'll show you her my PC. This is my politically correct right here, not, not personal computer here. Let's see here. Hey, Barbara. There it is. That's what I got going on here. It's uh, even has an old Blu-ray multi-card reader, and this is where the. That is what connects to this thing. It's a USB. I don't have USB C yet. I'm not that highfalutin yet, but it's an iBuy Power little thing on my jig desktop. Let's see if I can show you. This is down in the guts of the thing. And back there is the other see through case. It's really hard to see. Health aid can't see that. You can't see that. The important thing here is that you got yourself one of them newfangled uh, electronical clickety boxes that you can do the booby surfing with. <laughs> That's right. Exactly. Exactly right. Yeah. Hey, no, I'll, I'll tell you, if you got one of them widescreen monitors, they'll stay away from Dollywood.com. I'll tell you, it poke your eyes out, give you a heart attack in one breath. Or or WhiteHouse.com. I've heard that. Yeah, that's scary. Yeah. Hey, guys. Can you hear me? Health Babe is here. Yes. Hi, guys. Good to Welcome back, love. Welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right. Very good. The scam stuff is a drag. Oh, boy. Gotta oh. say, he sounds almost as sexy as Sal does. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's a oh, high my. compliment there, Health Babe. I guess so. <laughs> yeah, I might have been a little high. <laughs> <laughs> you know, e e Electro Pig's got a great voice too. I tell you, it's good. And Centurion Silver does too. He's got a good voice. All you guys. Oh, shucks. I'd love to hear Terry's voice. I'd love to hear Barbara Carbone's voice. That, that's a you gotta have so lovely compliments for me on this Friday. <laughs> oh man, the lady with the golden voice, Slacker Stacker says of health, babe. Indeed. <laughs> Seven Black Swans Artisan Jewelry says, thank you. I love that name. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm not even sharing the screen yet. Let me get to this. Hey, let's have Health Babe read a comment. Are you cool with that, Health Babe? Oh, my 
I would do one probably. <laughs> All right, here's one. Mark <laughs> Okay, Mark. Okay, no, we are not. The next week, gold silver will drop down again to the toilet. I'm just kidding. To the toilet. There you go. A little commentary at the end. I love it. I love it. That's awesome. That's awesome. Very cool. <laughs> support from Coin Collective Fund. That's great. Oh my gosh. That's this great. one like 99. What does it mean? What's that? Uh, Coin Collecting Fund. Oh yeah. Like yeah. 99. He's saying what he does there. He's saying that he's the 99th like on this video. Oh, okay. I see. Okay. Good. Okay, very good. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Centurion Silver, do you want to use your magic on Michael Peterson's uh, uh, comment here? Okay. Oh, okay. let me see. Let me get over there. Okay. If we keep seeing its depletion, the value will be much higher. But I do agree with what you're saying. But in Venezuela, a single ounce of silver is worth millions of their dollars now. So why silver has not gone up is through the roof in Venezuela. And one ounce will buy you 45 acres of land yeah, and, and or six months of groceries. And I'll take the land and grow my own groceries. There you go. <laughs> it does not have to go up. But in these countries falling, it's through the roof. Boom. There you go. All right. Oh, no. All right. Uh, Electro Pig. How about your magic on the real fake news is comment? Mm -hmm. I don't know how Venezuela <laughs> makes their silver, but I know Mexican silver purity is 0.925, so that can be a piece. Also, I've noticed online lately any info on Venezuela isn't updated right. That's excellent. That is, oh man, that's great. <laughs> Tell me the truth about Silva. Oh my God. That, is so, that is so sexy. <laughs> there you go. You got a sexy from uh, Health Bay. That's awesome. Very good. All right, let me try. I'm going to try. You know, I'm being outclassed by my viewers here. <laughs> right, so here we go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here's my here's mine version. Mm. Just about do my yearly Gold Britannia purchase in the next few weeks. Mm hmm. <laughs> All right, then. I'll get a little mustard on my gold Britannias if it don't put you out none. Mm -hmm. yep. All right, then. You got to throw a dag nabbit in there every once in a while, though, just make sure you know you bounce all the everything out, all, all, all proper and everything, you know? Yeah. <laughs> That's my sling blade. Carl never used dag nabbit, but yeah. All right. <laughs> Very good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see here. Kid. Uh, okay. Oh. Once you get retirement age, you got to spell it O-L-D-E-T-H-A-R-T-E. -E. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Donald in New Mexico, who is at supper right now eating some burritos. Who wants to do this one? I can do it. All right. Okay, so six, 66. Hi, Sal. Mining costs are in play at these levels. The mine are shutting down at these low prices. The big mining companies will weather the low returns, but small companies are shutting down. Okay. That's Is good. That yeah. and, and you know, he's, he's right there. I don't know how these small mining companies are dealing with. And I've also heard different figures about what the, uh, what the, uh, what their all in costs are. You know, it's a, uh, it's, it's interesting to see because I've heard some people say that gold's, uh, all in costs are about, um, um, you know, like $800 an ounce or something like that. Well under a thousand and silvers are like four to five. So I don't know, but that's, but I'm here. I've heard, I hear different numbers. I don't know. Well, on, on a cell, honestly, this is just part of it. And, uh, if we want to dive into all those details, you know, and people just need to look at their balance sheet. That's the first thing I would do. Right. right. See? Yeah, see their cash flow and see um, what is their liability, you know. And That's the, right. Yeah, all those details in there. That way you can tell a little bit more and yeah. and look at their inside the trading, you know, the holding and stuff like that. And then that way you can tell if they're healthy or not. That's a simple way to look at it. So. Yep. And, and actually, that's health made me make a great point because that's exactly how their all in costs are calculated is by looking at those balance sheets. Yeah. Yeah, and, it tells and you and everything. I think in many cases, it's going to just depend on the mine. It's going to depend on their liquidity mm -hmm. and yeah. their and their assets or their. Um, oh, the know. primary and secondary problem as well. 
And the projects too, by the way, if they right. don't have the projects, <laughs> like that, uh, they, they are drilling results and they just can't, yeah, they just can't keep going, right? And also, do they have the financing? Do they have enough funding for their next project and for their next exploration? That's a whole other factor than that too. So, so right. many factors, you know, we have to consider if we want, we want to look into all those small companies, you know, see if they can, yeah. Very yeah. true, very true. Good point, Elf Baby. Yeah. Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, AC. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, Centurion, do you want to read ACs? I just had to reply to uh, Alan Gold's last comment. Let's see. Oh. <laughs> yeah, where's uh, Alan Gold in here? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. He, he called us the, uh, the, it's the senile hour, apparently. The yeah. illiterate. <laughs> I'm just blind. No, he's at, that's actually a compliment. He's actually complimenting. He's saying that we're semi literate senility hour. So we're semi literate. Yeah. That's actually good. You have to look. Oh, for man. oh let's see. Uh, is there anything wrong in buying government mint bullion coins and gold bars in combination? The ongoing argument is buy as close to spot as you can. They will only give you up to spot when you sell. American Eagles are twice the premium as bars, to which you won't ever see it again. Or get that premium back when you sell. So, what is your opinion? Buy ASCs. Yeah, Bye. yeah. I would say, yeah, the ASCs are the most liquid. They're the most trusted bars. Even in assay cards, they can be fake too. And even though, in my opinion, it's very easily easy to spot a fake gold bar, um, and um, because more than likely the one ounce gold bars are not going to have be tungsten filled. Now, there are American Gold Eagles that are tungsten filled that are circular that are coming in and out of um, uh, of China. And actually, I want to get one of those, but it's very hard to find those. Um, but uh, American Eagles typically are, are the way to go if you want to. But I'm not against buying bars, but just know what you're buying, buying from a reputable dealer. So yeah. anyway, all right, very good. All right, I, like, I like the new security features in the Maple Leaf, though. Yes. Oh, yeah. I do too. I love the security. And Those they, they things have are going to be so much more difficult to uh, to counterfeit. Oh yes. Yes. But I think I think they might. I don't know. I think they'll they'll approach the uh, the same amount of recognition as the as a silver eagle. Oh yeah. Well yeah. I mean, uh, especially the gold ones. They have the. Um, they have the uh, the uh, the DNA or the genetic thing. They have the, they have this way that you can test the um, the the gold maples as well. But yeah, the silver the, the Royal Canadian Mint is second to none when it comes to technology and and, uh, and using that to for their for their bullion. It's very easy to tell a fake silver or or, or gold. Now hold on a second here, guys. I'll tell you, they got the budget for it. And what, what, did he do? <laughs> what what did mischievous Mallard say? He's um, he said, "Ban the duck." But what did I'm trying to find? What he said that was bad here. Let's see here. I'm looking. Moving all the men. Yes, all right. Uh, just be nice in here. I'm not seeing anything here, real quick. All right. Anyways, all right. Anyway, go ahead. What were you saying? I was gonna say I I absolutely love that uh, new Scottsdale uh, marquee bar. I've had my eye on that thing for quite a while now. The one ounce gold. And uh, oh, there, that thing is just sick. All the lines in that thing, there is no possible way on earth that you could you could replicate that. Right, right. No way. Yeah. And that that and the uh the Argo Argo uh, Reyes, the kind bar, that one yeah. that I've you know, that one I've shown a bunch of times with all the holographic. Oh yeah, that's cool. Yeah, and that's that thing. That thing just blows my mind every time I look at it. I mean, those are two that you just, it, there's no way you're going to replicate that. But next to those, the, the uh, Royal Canadian bars are just, you know, they're, they're beautiful to look at, man. They I'm really trying are. to think of what the, uh, of what the, um, uh, whatchamacallit, the marquee bar, that's Scottsdale, right? Yep, yep. And, and the funny part is I never really see it on their website. I only see it pop up on eBay. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna look. I'm looking offline here. Like, Once in a while, they put them up on sale, and when they it's do, called the marquee bar is it that what it's called? The marquee. Yeah, it's 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 like their premium bar. It is just gorgeous. 
so much ridiculous. Oh yes, detail. I've seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. pricey. It's pretty pricey, but that is nice. I love the security details on that. Yeah, heck yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, that's cool. Scottsdale yeah. doesn't put out anything that is not worth snagging. It, yeah. It's it, at the very least. Everything they put out, you want one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And and you'll always get your premiums back. You know, I mean, I know there's a big thing about, oh, you know, you don't want to do this because of the premiums. But, yeah. you know, everybody that's buying them are all stackers. And when they can get it at a fair deal and, right. uh, uh, you know, they're going to buy it. But then there's always those guys that just got to have it. They don't care. Yep. They're collectors. They want it. And, you know, so they'll buy that Kit Kat bar for, you know, 20 bucks over spot or, or in this case, like 30 over spot or any of that stuff. And yeah, that was know. like the, uh, the Egyptian relic series. Did you get any of those? I didn't personally get it. Yeah, any. I got, I got those. Those are cool, man. I, I've got the, uh, those are definitely awesome. The, um, uh, there, the, uh, the King Tut is my favorite. Yeah, we're something else real quick. I want to answer this question before it scrolls up the chat. Um, because mm -hmm. uh, Me Medio Man, Medio Man has uh, has got quite a unique collection going on of the Canadian $200 uh, gold coins, about half ounces, I think. And um, and they're really cool. They're they're um. But the thing is, is I think that was a continuation of another series of half about half ounce coins. I've actually got one. I posted a video on Medio, Medio Man uh, from 1980. Um, and this thing is proof, but it, but it, but it came in. Um, and it came in some nice. I did a video on it, but I forgot what it was called. It's been a while now since I posted a video on it, but I think it had ships on it or something like that. But. It reminded me of that, but yes, I did look that up. Um, I, uh, I got yeah. a couple of those 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 half a gram chipmunks. Oh wow, half <laughs> a gram chipmunks! Wow. Can you Literally. show to me? I'm kind of curious. Chipmunks. They're, half, they're one one half gram. Think of about the third, about a third the size of a dime. Wow. No. And <laughs> they're, I think they're cute. A little bit thicker than than the thickness of your thumbnail. Oh, wow. Man, these are not coins for manhandling. <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to do a series of some bars that I think you know find interesting. I've already posted one video about it. I'm going to redo it, and um, and uh, that's going to have you beat, believe it or not, believe it or not, on that. I'll leave it at that. But where can you get these bars? What which ones? The half gram chipmunks. Oh, those those oh, chipmunks. The, those half grams I just got from the mint. I just saw they, they, they were you know a chipmunk and they're just so cute. I had to get a couple of those. Royal Canadian Mint makes those. Yep. I've never even heard of them. Half gram of gold. Wow. Yep, a half gram chipmunk. This is a this is a couple of years ago. Wow. Is it gold or silver? Gold. Oh, gold. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, I never see it. Interesting. But I do have that. Well, yeah, I sent you. I sent you one of those. One of those one gram silver bars too, because I wanted to make sure that people could see the absolutely worst possible way to buy silver. Yeah, yeah. Or the least cost effective way to buy silver is gram by gram. By gram. Right. Sure. But how many people can say, "Hey, I have an entire silver bar in my wallet"? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the premiums on those things are pretty, uh, pretty outrageous. Oh, it's astronomical. I mean, yeah. to the point it's pain in the astronomical. Yeah, exactly. Hey, can you read this comment for me real quick here? This might take you a while since you're in silver, but I want to see if you can do it. I mean, see if you can do it in one breath. First, boom, boom, diggity. Let me the let me enunciation was sheer, sheer magnificent. <laughs> look at this, look at this. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> trooper. 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 Hey, is Barbara still here? I've got two things for Barbara here. Number one. And number two, health, babe, to read Barbara Carbone's comment. I hope Barbara Okay. Can. Okay. Uh, good video. Uh, person's mental is still a good buy right now. I've been taking advantage of that. I like the real tangible physical hold it in your hand methods 
thank you for the info stuff. Very interesting. You're yeah. always so helpful. <laughs> oh, wow. Thank you. Oh, man. And informative. Awesome. awesome. Very cool. Thank you. Yes, indeed. All right. There you go, she, Barbara. She put a spin on it. Your, 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 your comment has been blessed by the great health babe, Barbara. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay. All right. If uh, Let's see here. Okay. Mischievous Mallard. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying. He's. I think he's just playing around, but I, I don't see him really doing. But just ignore him if he's bothering you. Let's see here. Okay, why do they make those Egyptian relic pieces in two ounce versions? The five ounce pieces are so much nicer. I wonder the same thing, Alpha Boss. And it seems like they're doing it every other year. They're doing two ounces and five ounces. Why don't they just stick with the five ounces? They are much nicer. I like it. Thick, beautiful, thick five ounce silver. Love it. Oh, and they still. I actually talked to somebody at the mint, uh, and. They, they can't confirm nor deny whether there's going to be one more in the series. Of what? Of the, the Egyptian relic series. Oh, 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 with Scottsdale men. Okay, they can't, okay, I see. They don't. The, rumors, the rumors have been out there that they're just, they're holding off on one more five. Uh, so then they'll have three fives and, and uh, three twos. And then that'll be it, right? And that's it. Yeah. But they can't they, they they said well you know all they do they're always thinking about putting out a new product right right, right. i said well how about that one said, well we can't say it helps you to remember all those words that mama told you not to say when you were real little yeah exactly well we got a lot more comments that popped in here as of late this is crazy. Oh, no, not too many here. Uh, let's see here. Oh, the silver guy asked, what is that gold coin? It's awesome. Um, well, the answer, silver guy, is going to be a cryptic answer. I posted a video on it, but it's the $5 George Washington commemorative. Actually, that wasn't a cryptic answer at all, was it? But if you get a chance, check it out on my channel. It's a pretty cool coin. I love it. One of my favorite coins. Yes, all right. Oh, and Alan Gold actually correctly states that uh, i love the thickness just saying that's right i'm down yeah. with the thickness brothers yes indeed thank you alan see there's alan is actually he's got us there's a soft he's got a soft heart alan gold i really truly believe he's got a soft heart um he, he probably picked up a soft cuddly kitty yeah i think he i think you know what if we if alan gold could get a couple of kittens I think he would be a very, he'd really be a really calm. He'd probably start typing in lowercase letters. <laughs> and, 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 and every other sentence might be, oh, you're so cute or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. and, all right. Mischievous Mallard, I offend Snowflakes on a purpose. It's not meant to offend. Just let them know, the viewers, that is. Well, yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with, it, with um, um, sharing your views, but I just don't. I, I just would rather you not do it just to offend, just to stir up the pot. You know, I mean, there's there's a level, there's a, there's a boundary there, um, and I don't mind. Like I said, as I've told you before, mischievous Mallard, you can troll me all you want to, like like Alan Gold does. You can say whatever you want about me, but just careful with my viewers. That's my that's my only thing. Is that cool? All right. Jeff, you're a law of density is not established science and truth. Bite thy tongue. Into hmm. All right. <laughs> Chuck and Plata says, I'm watching videos. Many are making their case for 10 to 10 or 11 to 11. Those who are saying Trump will place martial law in place while the sealed documents open or arrests are being made. Ooh, I don't know what that's about. Losing one's wealth is grievous, but it has no eternal value. Uh, yeah, well, that's right. It's that's true. Um, our wealth does not have eternal value. We can't take it with us, right? We can't take it with us. That's right. Yeah, I bet all them Egyptian pharaohs are pissed. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They sure are. <laughs> they ain't, ain't built pyramids and all that sort of stuff. Take it, take it yeah. with them. I'm going to be funny in it. The pyramid builders, I'm telling you, they, they, they was laughing their ass off all the way to bank, wasn't they? <laughs> hey, Barbara Carbone says a change is happening and coming. Just hope it's not too bad. Me too. I hope not either. Second, says the enabler. Second. There you go. 
Uh, where is Salavato's Cato? Yes, indeed. Well, stay tuned. There's going to be a video with a cat in it soon. Can't change a wicked duck, Sal. I wonder who really is mischievous Mallard. <laughs> he is mischievous. Blue Light Bandit. Hey, Sal, I haven't gotten around to making a video yet showing off your Silver Fortitude kitties, even though I've had them since they were released, slacking. But I did post an article about them today on Steam it showing them off. Just thought I would let you know. Well, thank you, my friend. Let's take a look at this. If you guys are on Steam it, subscribe to uh, Blue Light Bandit. See what this pops up here. Wow, look at that. New Silver Pussycats at Salivate Metal. Hashtag Salivate Metal. Oh, look, my, my Steam it account came up. All right. All right, I agree to the terms, which I can't even get my money out of this Steemit thing. Steemit's got all my money, not that I had a whole lot in there. But anyways, <laughs> what's up, players? I've been meaning to show these little furtitudes off for a while now. I think they were released a couple months ago, and I just haven't gotten to post anything about them. That's cool. Look at that. For those of you not familiar with Salivate Metal, he's a dot hard, hard, precious metal stack with a successful YouTube channel. Here's a link if you'd like to check him out. A lot of interesting content, and it's probably one of the most level headed people I know. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> what was that? I just demonstrated to you all how level headed he even killed <laughs> It's no big deal. The bubble just went a little to the left. Now he's back in the center again. <laughs> I think I just proved Blue Light Bland that it blew his theory out of the water that I'm level headed. <laughs> Oh, that's the result of too much coffee. That's what she said. Last year, he had his own silver round minted depicting a picture of his kitty. The round weighs in at 1.75 ounces and has a beaded edge. Cool. Wow. That's a good picture of it, actually. The only difference between this year's rounds and last year's is that this year's is serialized on a smooth edge. Wow. That's cool. He a great showing of that. I got lucky He's number three and 34. Wow. <laughs> I don't even have one of those yet, actually. I don't even have a number of fortitude on it. I need to get on the ball with it. The round was minted by Regency Mint and was sold through Quality Silver Bullion for around 43 bucks. I don't remember the exact number minted, maybe 500, but they have been sold out for a while now. Actually, it was 299 for the original uh, fortitude round, and these are open-ended, but they're, I'm going to probably, before the end of the year, announce a final mintage for the number of fortitudes. We'll cap that off too. Here's a normal Sullivan metal round that I've had for a while. I've got some more of his stuff that's apparently buried deep in the stack, and we'll have to wait for another day. Great pictures, uh, my friend. Wow. Blue Light Bandit. Very nice of you, sir. That's cool. This guy is a uh, – he did a scammer call too uh, on, his, on his channel. It was a hilarious, the call he did. It was funny. But very nice of him indeed. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can upvote this. I don't even know if I know how to do this anymore. I know what it's called upvote. Is that what, there it is. Boom, thank you, sir. I, I don't even know if that worked. I've been, I've not been on here so long. I don't even know how this works. But anyways, that is very cool. Thank you, Blue Light Bandit. You're awesome. Sub, uh, if you're on Steam it, guys, go check it out. And, uh, Whoa, I've been on here two hours, Alan Golden. You stuck with me? This is crazy. Frank loved the calls earlier. Thanks. Appreciate it. Heath Nixon says, thanks, Sal. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. But thank you, Blue Light Bandit. That's very kind of you, indeed. Very cool. Silver Legion. American miracle. They'd have to put Trump on money if he helped save the U.S. from the Federal Reserve. Yeah, we'll see. I think the Federal Reserve is not going away. I don't even know that Trump would even propose that, but we shall see. Let's see here. Um, Silver Valley Coins and Bullion says, I'm getting flashbacks off of early 2011. Who knows? You know, you never know with this, what's going on with the dollar. If they do the wrong thing, it'll be worse in 2011, I think. If they reset this dollar in a good, then we'll see. We could see silver and gold really go up. But I think they're going to try to do it to prevent that. I think if anything, that what they may do, this could have potentially be the ultimate manipulation tactic. We shall see. I hope not, but we'll see. Hey, look at there, Tomoka's Enterprise. Um, yeah, it, he's giving up trying to do steam and not worth my time. It does take a lot of time to do the steam it thing, for sure. All right. Very cool. All right, guys, let's see. I think I'm going to... I'll finish some of these comments here later, but uh, 
Kendall Kids, Kendall Kids on Steam It. Subscribe to Steam It uh, for to Kendall Kid if you guys get a chance if you're on Steam It. And uh, let's see here. Max Strong is here. All right, guys. Anything? I'm probably going to be wrapping this up real quick here. Uh, but any guys, any of you all have any uh, thoughts? Do you want to leave with us today here? Um, I just want to say keep buying your silver since the price is still low. And um, the, the ratio between the gold and silver is still pretty high, which is really good for silver as well. But just don't overpay for the premium. Amen. If you're a pure stacker, that's exactly great advice uh, for sure. And uh, thank you. That's excellent advice. Um, health paid for sure. Thank you very much. I will keep buying my uh, Kennedy half dollar. 90%. Yes. Yep. yes, indeed. Good, good one. I, me too. I still, I need to get another, uh, get my stack, my uh, tube going here for sure. Yes, indeed. And stay disciplined. So. Stay disciplined. <laughs> excellent advice. By the way, Ken Frank's here. Just got home from Knott's Berry Farm. Went to Pan for Gold. Nice. All right, Electro Pig, you have any uh, wise wise words for us to take us out? I keep hearing the words diversification. Amen, so brother. There's a lot of people that have a lot of different ideas uh, that you should stack this and only this. And more and more people are starting to think, you've got to get a little of this, little of that, little of the other thing. So I actually did that the other day. And I finally got myself a little bit of hand-poured silver. Awesome. You can see there are five ounce uh, based on the, on the Canadian nickel from uh, Beaver Bullion. Oh, yes, Beaver Bullion. I've heard good things about them. I had to snag them. Because I just I had a sneaking suspicion the price was just just going to spike, and it spiked. Yep. So I got in before the spike. So we'll see if that was a good idea or whether I should have held off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, very good, very good. By the way, I've got to I've got to say something real quick. Slacker Stacker can get the ladies to go live on his stream. I hope some of you ladies will go live with Slacker Stacker on his stream. He's got a good stream. I think he usually does it Saturdays. It's hard for me to get there. But he does a good stream. Subscribe to Slacker Stacker's channel. Mm -hmm. what, what time is this, Slacker Stacker? What time is your show? Oh, oh boy. I'll answer that here soon. Well, anyways, while we wait for him to answer, Centurion Silver, you're up, brother. Any 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 uh, words of wisdom for us as we as we uh, head out here? Wisdom? <laughs> Not really. I mean, everybody knows what I am up to, but. You know, I just stack what you want, stack what you can, reasonably priced. Yep. You know, for all the right reasons, you know, and, and but really, aside from all that, I'm just happy to be hanging out with everybody in here. You know, God, so many times a week. It's a blast, man. It's it really is. It really is. There's a lot of good people in the in this community for sure. And oh, yeah. it's so diverse. And, um, and, uh, it's so, I mean, we got a lot of different personalities, a lot of different viewpoints, but we all love gold and silver and, um, and, you know, we all get along and, um, and I think it's wonderful and I'm, I'm honored to, to know you and, um, and all you guys here, it's, it's, it's just, um, just amazing. This is a good, good group of people. I think this is a great community. I don't know much about other YouTube quote YouTube communities, but I can't imagine a more tight knit uh, type of community that, than we have than some of these other. I mean, I don't know. I imagine there's there's probably are others out there, but I like to think that us and what unites us is pretty special. Yeah, that's that's my take on it too. I've I've actually uh, found a few other communities out there, respectively speaking. And they just, uh, they seem way too serious and mm -hmm. not as lighthearted, yeah. you know, and, and not, uh, you know, they were more like the diehard purist collectors, just so OCD, anal retentive. I right. don't really, I'm not that kind, you know, I just, I'm a stacker that occasionally likes to find that, you know, that cool stuff, man, to, just to lighten it up and, and keep you interested and, and uh, keep you active, you know, yeah. instead of, you know what I mean? Uh, Absolutely. Not, Absolute agreement. Yeah, not just a collector, but not just a stacker, just a guy that 
you know, I like the metal, period. And if I can get a nice premium piece at a good deal, man, I'm going for it. I don't care, you know. And yeah. if, if I'm in it for the long haul or if I'm buried with it, whatever, I don't care. I enjoyed it the whole time that I had it. Exactly. You know? That's, that's, amen. You're, you're exactly hey guys. right. Since yes. you guys bring up that topic about the community, I have a question regarding to a single person in the community. And I don't want to know if I should name him, but it seems to me he's trying to make enemies with everybody. Yeah, who's this? What's that? Um, what is his name? Uh, something Alan with Gold? The, Alan no, Gold. No, no, no. Alan Go is not as worse. No, I, I don't know much about <laughs> Alan Go. But the, the guy, uh, his name is something Crown, Crown Collector. I oh, think. Crown Collector. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, um, yeah, he's kind of the, um, He's the wordy troll of the community. I've, I've most channels yeah. have blocked him, have blocked him, and uh, you know, and he's a uh, he's an insensitive uh, troll who th who just, um, yeah. I mean, it's um, yeah. That, you know, I, I found that pretty entertaining because you know I can trigger him anytime I want. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. It's very easy to trigger him. He's very easily triggered. That's for sure. And um, and I caught him in a. I exposed one of his racist comments um, and. Um, and it's forever immortalized, and 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 it's someplace under his nose, and he has no idea where it is. But yeah, he's he's uh, definitely been been one that's. Um, yeah, I mean, I honestly, I feel sorry for people like that. Yeah, yeah I don't mean to down on him, but as it sounds to me, he's really depressed. Yeah, it's there's something seriously wrong, and I do yeah. think because I because the thing is that the way you have experienced him in comments on YouTube is exactly the way he is via email. I tried to, I tried to reason with him via email and he's exactly the same way. So there's something going on, <laughs> there's something going on with his personality. But Alan, that, Alan go just make a comment. Crown yeah. collector is a genius. Yeah. <laughs> A genius. Well, and Alan Gold is, um, you know, we're like a family here, and Alan Gold is like the redheaded stepchild. Uh, <laughs> that um, that uh, uh, he's the black sheep of the family. That, yeah, I guess he has his point from his standpoint, right? He might found something attractive, you know, about uh, a crown collector, I guess. <laughs> yeah, so you got to remember that, the, that these here, uh, what you call newfangled electronic entire webs. Uh, they they got a lot of people in there, and they, they ain't all uh, what you call thinketicians or uh, brain ecologists. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's yeah. right. Exactly. They're not. I'm all... not afraid of them. You know what? Bring it on any time. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Yep. No, that's true. And you know, and the thing is, is basically, I've I've pretty much ignored Crown Collector. Um, um, and 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 I tried to ignore him before, but he kept on trolling on me on other channels, and uh, but. You ignore him long enough, more than likely he'll 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 stop. But sometimes it's fun to engage with him, you know, and just troll him back. And uh, but anyways, but yeah, well, anyways, guys. Well, hey, thank you very much. It's been a fun evening. We had a great time. And uh, Alan Gold is like our family goldfish. That's right. We can just flush, <laughs> we can flush him down the toilet when he gets too old. Yeah, that's right. Exactly. No, but you guys are great. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I've been going on for quite a while here. It's actually kind of crazy, but you all have a wonderful evening. Keep your feet on the stars and keep reaching for the coffee grounds. You guys Do have the a same good, night. good night, guys. Take care. Bye bye. You pass on the good information when you find it because it'll come back to you. Yeah, will do. Yes. Thank you, sir. Take care, all. Bye bye. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.